it's always going to get you in. What? What? I'm rocking. Who says we ain't in the building? Who says we ain't in the building? We the Morris Master Masons, architects for your children, reference Friday 30s like Jason, without the killing. But we promote life, oh, it's all about the feeling. And we invoke light, yo, we them light beings. So you might see him on the block getting his posture. Might be talking to cops, giving them caution. Occasionally wearing his fez when he's walking. See the turning head, whispering, gawking. But he's locked in, and he's zoned out. Why we boxed in, in our own house? We study the mystics, the adepts, the magi. Wisdom of the ancients can all calcify us. Possible mission, free mental numbness. Extract the substance with minds of darkness. Use the source, don't care what some purport. As we know by being told, man knows not. Many before the fall of souls got bought. Placed in the devil's hands, ruling the seven lands. To dark my rituals, Negro spirituals. Brainwash subliminal, keep thinking to a minimal. They're still criminal, in a world digital so pitiful. Mental survival so critical, it's visible. Can you see past life to drop? Hands as zombies with waves of cyber sun. No need for cell phones, they see too soft on. It's nothing for alarm, chips and forearm. When brass and bass, such a beautiful serenade. Women feeding me grapes, I'm feeding the in Whether Whether this guy is fair or great. Rain when you hear a fake, giving life to speed. Speaking to who not here today. Show you the future in a glimpse And I was looking at these holes like hallucinary depths Sun walks desert Been more of a sense I found God Look back, you should see his friends Forget being a prince, I'm a G OD, grown man, no joke He's denying you don't know me Don't make me tap into the old me That's like a couple hundred years Walk around town with a couple hundred peers And release the peace of up fears The sun gon' shine for what fears This young brother here just trying to get his third eye clear This beat, more don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash Real life rap, spitting over tracks Conscious thinking and living a dead attack This beat, more don't sleep Invest in your mind and body and unleash Here. Real life rap, Here. spitting over tracks Here. Conscious thinking uh-huh. and living a dead attack So what's the moon set? The sun takes its place, the spoons on blocks, the fire box, fill spaces, peel back, rap, cup, who got cases, fire stains, the corridors, the flammable faces, game changers, rule benders, and no pretenders, style lenders, channel my vibe through the vibrant toxic lenses, send a message to our veterans, so give up and get it in, we on our birds, we are merged, subliminal being, third eye seeing, still I participate unwilling, they wanna break me, shake, bait, break me, rolling with my main G, double up and beat, S O N E. Crazy for a minute that you think you could take me for a fool Like a native to his land being schooled by a foreign dude You mistaken me, bodies on the roof In the dark rooms, I've been saying you mistaken me You better move for our market My weapon is my tongue, your existence a target Revealing all lies and deceit on the market Genocide, carry round in pockets, I knock it Down bulldozer, David took a liar, this an exposure Out some big heads, ruling it'll getting closer To your downfall, round up on your soldiers Little homie, I was seeking a fortune, tired of misfortune, I just wanted a portion, everything that I never had, though I needed my fortune, blowing like porcelain, hated scandalous porcelain, getting broke, tired of being broke, how we get quiet, hoping to keep the killers and dope, just to keep us afloat, might as deep as the boat, rain is a lethal weapon, we won't need to below, when I speak I provoke. Walk in the room with my aura feeling like heavy smoke Feel like when the levy broke Under my Louis Vinny, the semi coat Cause then we cap the kill your boy, you hear the joke The cost of living, higher profits in private prison These little girls are selling bodies just to pay for wishes These little kids get selling niggas just for build position It's like the slavery never ended with the end of mission I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, let me one plan I wanna free the world, but I'm one man A couple ones like me, and one plan Peace and love, Morris. I am Ms. Raheem. I left L. This is MHHS, eyes wide open, sons of Allah, for November 2016 Gregorian calendar. I'm here with the Iron Sheik, Grand Sheik, Kujo, Adwo, L. Peace and love, Novo, are you with us? Peace and love, Moore. You know I'm with you. Oh. Indeed, already, already known fact. All right, so... um. This is, again, you know, that was off the Wisdom of the Womb album that's coming very soon. Uh, 
um, very soon. Um, very soon. Yeah, very soon. That's that's great music. Great music. All right, so <clears throat> tonight we here. We thank everybody for tuning in who's listening now, and who will listen, you know, back in the archives, etc. Um, all right, so we 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 got to go in on a few things tonight. Um, those of you who know, I usually do not, you know, necessarily um, name names or talk about people, you know, in their state of ignorance. However, I woke up to a very uh, disturbing, disturbing video put out by um, some, some, some body. I don't even want to say brother, but by somebody who was wearing a fez calling themselves Taharka Bay. Now, I already put it on this thread that we will be doing Sons of Allah tonight. If there's anything you want to say, you can feel free to call in and get your whatever you want to talk about. So my thing is this. The reason why I feel compelled today to even go in like this is because uh, in this particular video, or we feel compelled to go in like this, is because in this particular video, they are taking shots at RV Bay Publications and specifically mention the loved one of mine, all right, Um, which would be my mother, as you already know. So the thing is this, their premise for the thing is they or foundation of this video uh, was basically that RV Bay, you know, took a shot at so-called Way L. You know what I mean? That's that that was the foundation for the video. You can see the article on the home page of RV Bay Publication. It is there. All right. So this was their foundation for this particular video. And um in this video they acted as if um uh Way L, wrong way L, et cetera, um was a victim. You know what I mean? Like that that's how they that was the foundation. Like somebody just mysteriously threw a shot at, at at this guy. And I'm like, that's not even the case because it was a while ago. You know what I mean? I mean since since some time ago, this dude has been mentioning R V Bay in a derogatory way. Uh there was a writ that was uh uh they wrote something up like in May 2015, we didn't find out about it until like January this year. And when we did, we did a show on it, and and basically they got attached at that particular moment. We talked about the energy and the and the mentality of it. Um, so you know, though they were in the mentality of trying to destroy or defame you know what I mean, or slander, um, you know, the information that RV Bay Publications makes publicly available for anybody. This was the angle that, you know, Todd is in New Jersey and, you know, the the laws that uh, govern, you know, the people here is New Jersey state statutes. I mean, they're on record saying it in this video, right, that, this quasi-national domicile law is the supreme law. I mean, that's what they're saying in this video. It's rhetorical. And as I was saying to the Iron Sheik, like, these are people who are not even qualified. Like, I could have did a video and all of that about it, but these are energy thieves, and you're not going to get that. So I told them straight up, nobody's coming on your platform. Since you happen to put this video up today, Either call in at nine o'clock or you know what I mean? We don't have anything to talk about. Straight point blank. And I know y'all don't really want to do this. So my thing is this. Um, I don't I don't respect the energy first and foremost because this is a dude who who built this platform solely based off of controversy. Influenced by Sonetta T V and all that. He's on record saying that. That's his influence. So you can see where that energy is coming from. But this is supposed to be a moor with the fez on, reporting the news and in the, in the Moor Science Temple of America, all of that, right? 
and there's no other way but through that way, et cetera. Now, there was some sarcasm in this video in the beginning because he's coming off like he wants somebody to sincerely teach him, you know, how to get the financial return off the birth certificate and things like that. But anybody who really studied RV Bay publications already knows is blatantly objected to that we don't even we don't even think about, you know, that type of process or do we promote it. So whatever he's mm-hmm. talking about has nothing to do with us. And again, his foundation is flawed because, you know, these are people who took shots at R V Bay publications and they got just a love tap back. Ain't nobody even, you know, really go in on them. So to come off like, you know, somebody scratched you, you know, it's it's, it's kind of lame. Or somebody just happened to happen to feel like they wanted to. Y'all have been asking for that for a while. And, you know, the mentality is really lame and played out to me. You know what I mean? My thing is they have no real information to stand on, to share, no du jour information, meaning that they're trying to have a conversation about law and do not have, they're not, they're not qualified to have this conversation. And I'm not just saying that to say that that's an actual fact because they don't understand how nationality birthrights goes together with law. So he's coming off how to get, you know, like he wants somebody to teach him how to get this finance off the birth certificate, which we have nothing to do with that process. Nobody at RV Bay publications, MHHS is saying you can get rich off of your birth certificate. So cut it out. Real talk. You've never heard anybody speak like that on this venue. You know what I mean? And if so, the Point concept and, was correct. And the quick interjection too with corrected. regard to quick interjection with regard to um um knowing law or not or be or not being qualified. The same individual who they're defending has gone on record yeah. on the same um, pseudo know thyself channel where the black guys and everybody else likes to do their whatever as saying to an officer of the court who also was on that same channel that he's not mm. qualified in law mm. yeah. right out of his own yeah. mouth wrong way of right. put it on the record that he's not qualified in law yeah right so so we we have to recognize we are not don't look at what we're doing and start talking about you know um um wasting energy and you know what I mean put your energy somewhere else or whatever because these people are exercising the same type of lingo that SPLC is exercising they're exercising the same type of lingo that ADL is exercising with regard to Moors who are who are constitutional, civic minded and active. So they're talking yeah. just like the colonial forces when it comes to Moorish activity. Mm-hmm. So don't get caught up and think that we're coming at them. It's not it's not them. Right. We're 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 mm-hmm. fighting the, we're fighting the Treaty of Verona through them. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, the new face of the Treaty of Verona is these Moors. Right? How? Right. How do we know that and why we say that? Because they are anti-Constitution. Out their mouth, they told you that they rep statutes, and statutes is the real law. Out their this mouth, they, they say that. Minute marker right? about but, like fifty three something for sure, for sure. Right. But then when we go to and, the Treaty of Verona, mm-hmm. go ahead, more. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say, and they was talking like that in the original document that was being responded to, which was the inspiration for the response on RV Bay Publications. That's a fact. In the first place, they was talking exactly. crazy like that. I'm about to swing that in right. a minute, yeah. Right. So Article 1, the high contracting powers being convinced that the system of representative government is equally as 
incompatible with the monarchical principles as the maxim of the sovereignty of the people with the divine right engage mutually in the most solemn manner to use all their efforts to put an end to the system of representative government in whatever country it may exist in Europe and to prevent it from being introduced in those countries where it is not yet known. These are the same people that are today speaking on a flat a platform called Moorish World, talking about statutes. Statutes is the real law. What are they what are they actually doing? They're actually putting an end to the system of representative government, which, which is destabilizing the republic, which is occupation, which is what colonial forces do. So when you, when, when you see these individuals and they look like Asiatics and they got feathers on, know that their handlers don't look like them. Know that their handlers' symbol of oppression is the fasci. Mm -hmm. Know that their handlers are supporters of Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood and all that. Know that these people are directly against your birthright. What Noble Jewali brought back to you. And told you that he brought you everything. There ain't no, there ain't no need to deal, deal with anything else. But, the, but they're implying that we're dealing with something else. They're implying that Noble Jewali didn't deal with sovereignty. When you could just, they got, they, that, that's mentioned in the Quran. The fact that he says nation is talking about sovereignty. The fact that he says American citizens, he's talking about sovereignty. The fact that he says, you know what I mean? National flag, mm -hmm. national ballot, anything having to yeah. do with national nation that Nobu Juali said has to do with sovereignty. Now, mind you, that has nothing to do with sovereign citizen movement and, and all that stuff. Right. Exactly. Right. And they're going to mm -hmm. try to make that bait and switch. Because we say sovereignty, that means we're talking about sovereignty movement. There's no relation between sovereign nation. You can look it up in our in our um, our God Black Law Dictionary, or Ballantines, or Bouvier's, whichever one, and look up nation in there, and then read what Noble Juali said, and then look up American citizen, and look up. All the things that he said relative to quote unquote law. And tell me if those things aren't in these dictionaries that these people are saying, you know, we use like it's, you know, it's a dictionary. If you're saying that you study more science and you're adept and mm -hmm. you're using words, but then. You're talking all this more science and, 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 you know, but your definitions aren't coming from a metaphysical dictionary, which is really where you should be, is, which is really the definition of the words you should be using if you're talking about anything having to do with spirituality, religion, or anything like that. It's not supposed to be the mundane definition. It's supposed to be the definition that's going to raise your vibration mentally. Mm -hmm. Because if because if they if they you know it's no different than Nobujali said enforce constitution. They're telling you enforce statutes. Right. And then and then and then people are going to go with enforcing the statutes. And then they get off right. by enforcing the statute, and, and they're under the assumption that, oh, enforcing the statute works. 
not recognizing that them and fortune, the statue, was them transferring their energy from themselves to this private corporation to still be here because they're enforcing mm. their law. They're not enforcing the supreme law of the land. Since people want to right. go on that channel and say that, that, that they're adept and they know about energy transfer, how about the energy transfer of this more starting mm. his platform based off of a black guy? Who Noble Jewel, he said you're not Negro black colored. So if you're not Negro black colored, why are you, why is a black guy your inspiration? Right. Who doesn't want nothing to do with more? Right. Let's talk about energy transfer. In that instance, mm-hmm. let's talk about energy transfer in the perspective of Noble Jewel, he said enforced constitution. They're not even saying that. Divine constitution and bylaws of the Morris Science Temple is the true law. They're saying state statute. Mm -hmm. And they're in the Morris Science Temple of America that has a constitution. But they're not even saying that that is the true law. They're pushing that aside, and they're saying that the state statute is the true law. And everybody Mm -hmm. knows that all the states right now are corporations. If you don't know that, you're a damn fool, but your soul's perfect, <laughs> so don't take it as a diss when we call you fool. Right, right, yeah, and, and, and that's the thing, bro. Like this is the thing, um, and, and you gotta realize that you know, just because somebody puts on the feds and sets up a backdrop with, you know, more imagery and things Flat like backwards. that. Flag yeah, backwards. flag backwards. Up a backwards All of that. That doesn't, <laughs> uh-huh. that doesn't make Word them more. competent. Meaning, they are still, they are still mental. They're in mental slavery. And I say that because you got to remember, laws that apply to free people, those who live by that 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 principle of freedom, which is one of the five highest civilized principles. Those who really live by that and don't just say that know that the same laws, like certain laws don't apply to the free being or the or the national that applies to the slave or the voluntary. Because remind yourself, right, they so into, um, you know, European statues and, you know, with the European laid out, that's the way that, you know, they forget that the Europeans made the claim in the Declaration of Independence that, quote-unquote, all men were created equal and free, all right, and and have the right to abolish any government when, you know, they become too abusive and the tyranny and things like that. But the slave, right, the slave-minded, you know, loves his master's law. They love having to go to bed at 8 o'clock. You know what I mean? Getting up to pick the cotton by, by 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 dawn. Like if they say that that's what it is, the mentality is that's what it is. So take the same concept over to the statues. Now I mentioned the Declaration of Independence because we're talking natural law. Okay, that doesn't apply to so-called consensual slaves, shall you say? Because you got to remember, you got voluntary servitude. And then you have involuntary servitude, all right? There is a big difference. So voluntary servitude, they're all with that. That's what they're, That's the foundation of their program through the contracts and, you know, or, or agreements, shall I say. You know what I mean? So if you agree that statutes are the law, that's the law you're subjected to until you declare otherwise your status in the state. Why do I say that? Why is that? That that part of being quote unquote equal equal right because I I'm just saying this from a perspective to me the concept on the level because I, I I do know for a fact there's a difference between the nobles and the commoners but let's just say for the fact the commoners say that y'all was equal all right let's go to the Institutes of American Law enumeration eight. It goes to say in in the preliminary book, it says to make a law 
there must be a superior. Now, hold on, mind you, that the, the Europeans claimed that there was equality. So let's look at this again. To make a law, there must be a superior who has authority to make it in an inferior who is bound by it, master-servant relationship. So you have voluntary people, people who are taking, you know, commoner positions or, or, or inferior, surf-minded people, vassal-minded, you know what I mean? That's their mentality. So meaning that when Django came on the scene, some slaves didn't understand. The question was, who is he? You know what I mean? Like, and I'm saying that to say that slaves don't comprehend the law of free people. That's just the bottom line. And they can say they're not slaves and, you know, slavery was abolished 1865. Okay, look around. You know what I mean? Look around. So my thing is this, natural law says to complete the definition of law, we must say that it is a rule prescribed by a lawful superior. So my thing is, how did the European become superior to you, but you're a Moorish American? Tell me how. Through the lineage, that noble lineage, how did a so-called law or statute that a European created become your lawful superior? Like, how, how, how so? And then it goes on to say, because they mentioned the Black's Law Dictionary is our God. Mind you, I'm speaking out of the Institutes of American Law right now. And you're laying for that because we're not going to let anybody make an excuse for ignorance anymore. Like, you know what I mean? It's probably because it's, the truth is hurting them, so they're trying to discredit the Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary. But in no way... Do we look at the law dictionary as our guide? We look at it as our as our God. Most Moors look at it as a tool for you know to remove speculation from middlemen like these dudes who, as they claim, are frontlining for social media. Anyway, God is the first great superior. And and, and going back real quick, I want to make sure I cover this because he mentioned in the beginning he was like he wanted somebody to show him how not to pay taxes on his land and all of this. And I'll simply leave the answer to that question just like this. Grow a backbone. Stand for what you claim. You said you was a Moor, all right? You said you was in the Moor Science Temple of America. Noble Dry Lee laid the lesson out for you right there in Chapter 1 that it's going to be done in the conflict that cannot be told in words. Yeah, we can build on it. There's many there's many perspectives on it and many facts. You know what I mean? But at this point, your ignorance is on you. The same information you're sending, if you examine it, you will get your answer. But the lack of courage, they want to be up under the European jurisdiction. So they will never make a move like that. You know what I mean? Like they won't. They will never stand on their true, the true ramifications that go with nationality. They want to be mm-hmm. subjects mentally. So that's their choice. Like it says in the King Alfred, those who will not use their intelligence are stakes on the table by its choice and consent. All right? That's two elements. That's a duality of that, that stake on the table mentality. It's a choice, and it's by consent. So, you know, looking at it in an international law perspective, you know, because they, they're talking about um, the, the the laws or the statutes of the state of New Jersey, you got to keep in mind we're speaking and coming from a position of of standing on nationality, standing on principles of nationality. So, again, here we are. Reference the source of law, John Bouvier's Concise Encyclopedia of Law, Francis Raleigh's Third Revision, page 2961. Under the definition of right, it says, as rights precede government. So we find that now, rights are acknowledged above governments in their states in the case of international law. See, that's the key right there is that that's in the case of international law. So 
mind yourself that international law is always in operation, specifically when you're coming in or, or engaging with people from a foreign nation. International law is already on the table no matter where you're at. So these quasi-national domiciles that they want to be subjected to, because we're standing on the law of nature and birthright, so that's just the bottom line. So if they want to be subjected to those statutory codes, they need to keep that to themselves. But to not even be qualified to have this discussion can only be had from you having to be schooled because obviously, you know, your ignorance is evident, bottom line. By even coming at anybody like that, and then on top of that, they was um, mentioning something about, yeah, or well, Ari Bay, they use, they use case laws from different states, and it doesn't apply in the so-called state that they're in. See, this is, again, a fine distinguishment between a lot of your thinkers and slaves, because the mental slavery is something Noble Jolly did come to, you know, remove us out of. So the mental slavery is still real. So they're still in a concept that, you know, people live in states and not really understanding nationality, national domicile. They don't really get that. They had RV Bay Publications uh, website up in the video. So the information is there. You, you have no rebuttal for any of that. And uh, you know that's that's just what it is. So, and, and we have to of, we have to also we have to also uh-huh. keep in mind that we're speaking about people who are quote unquote more science temple of America. Yeah, right. In the more science so, temple of America, yeah. right? These these yeah. are these are Moorish American Muslims we're talking about. We're not talking about people who don't claim to be Moors. Or don't claim right. that Noble Juali is the prophet, or don't claim that the Fez is their religious slash national headwear, or don't claim that that's our flag. They're for all that. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. When 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 you look at what Noble Juali, or or when you analyze Noble Juali's writings, clearly. He wasn't about state statutes and ordinances and codes and acts. Clearly. Right? Like like clearly he didn't take he didn't create a divine constitution, right? And then take an Uh act out and make that act the law and tell Morris to follow that. Right. There was a constitution in place with bylaws. Right? There was a constitution in place. So as we begin to study with an open mm-hmm. mind what Noble Juali brought, because, because remember, the, the the point of the infiltration of the Morris Science Temple of America is to stop, is to dissolve constitutional and civic enforcement by Moors and keep them in the temple singing and praying. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like for for example, when we were in um when we were in Chicago Mm-hmm. There was there was literally Moors who had their t- had their fez in a bag, and then when they get mm-hmm. inside the temple, then they put their fez on. Right. But then there's other Moors who are walking from outside with their fez on, coming into the temple. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Now it's the same thing that right. that Brother Miz was talking about about. Either you're going to be a free national or you're going to be a slave. There's no in between. Slaves no of the Morris Science Temple of America carry their fez in a bag. Right. Because they're taught that, you know, this is a club. This is a this is an organization you're joining. 
They're not mm-hmm. taught that this is their birthright. <clears throat> right. 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 And and and, yeah. and and I questioned and I questioned that. How come? How come some Moors wear their fez outside the temple and some Moors carry it? And the answer was that the Moors who carry it are Moors who came from the body of Moors that were passive with this. Uh-huh. So, so that's what they knew as far as being Moors. They didn't, they didn't know about where your friends outside. Right. Like think think about think about how how that can can have people think that there's no Moors anymore. Just like what Noble Dwali said, you know, fifty years is gonna go, you think that that this thing is done with. Mm-hmm. Because you have these these operations right by the colonial powers through their infiltrators to destabilize Moorish activity that that you know Moors had a mentality that wearing your fez outside of the temple was a renegade forget what we're doing now right like the stuff that they're pointing out right. now that's saying oh yeah we got people killed or whatever like that there there was more in after Drew Ali's time mhm if they got caught with their friends outside the temple, they're about to get it. Mm. That's crazy, bro. Ain't, right? Ain't no different than um, Brother Amazite. When he was on the bus and the more put, questioned him on the bus, like, why you got your fez on outside the temple? Yeah. He had to break, down to, the, he had to break down to the brother <laughs> about this is birthright. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Because he was quote unquote more a science temple, and then this is why, you know, what I mean, we, as far as Canaan land, we talk how we talk from the platform of more a science temple to change the energy yeah. that people have about it. That's right. why we. That's why we go overboard, because we understand that that there's a way that it's supposed to run for it to appear pristine and whatever but there's not any that are really like that 99% right. of them are dealing with this is some type of religious come pray come clap come in you know what I mean nothing about constitution nothing about law nothing about metaphysics occult none of that all you have is circle 7 Quran 101 questionnaire and that's it like nothing else for you. That's the only thing that you're reading from. Anything else that you want, you have to go through the ranks or whatever like that. And when you get to the adept chamber, then you're gonna get the. You know what I mean? This is why these people have this little channel and people coming on there talking slick about they're putting out adept information. Like what they're talking about is adept. Right. Not even there. They're not, not even, even on there. It like. Right. Real talk. Yeah. So people and, have to. And, and that's. Mm-hmm. Pe- people have to to um, realize and recognize that what we present to the masses is not uh, like ours. That right? is not right. our stuff. Just like we. Just like. Um, is not to Brother Sheldon L for beating up on Amen Ra Squad. Don't debate Moors. Go debate Dr. Ben. Don't debate don't mm-hmm. debate us about we don't know law and we're saying wrong stuff. Go 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 debate Henry Campbell Black. Who told you what a highway man is? Worse. Well talk. Exactly. Go go exactly. debate go debate the the writer, author of the preparer of the law dictionary that has the defin in the definition in there of police and police officer and show you that there's a difference. Mhm. Yeah. That there's a difference and, between a between an officer and a police. Yeah. And they don't ref and they don't refer to uh police 
as a police officer in the dictionary. Yeah. And, and one thing else I wanted to mention, too, is because they, they've they tried to take the angle that, oh, well, RV Bay, you know, these Moors are using case laws from everywhere else, you know, and it don't apply in different states. It, again, goes to show the incompetence because you got to remember, too, even though we are not domiciled under any quasi-national domicile like that, uh, you know, via the Constitution, Article 4, Section 1, you know, the sister clause where it talks about full faith and credit to the acts, public records, and, and things of that nature of every other quote-unquote state, you know, like, come on, they have to respect that because why? There's a law of the land, and that land is America. So the thing is, if what they're if they're coming to a conclusion that is not based off of the law of the land, it's void anyway. So if it's based off the law of the land, then that's applicable all over the land. That's why they have what they call the sister clause of the Constitution, Article 4, Section 1. So, again, these people are not qualified to have any discussion about law with us. They don't, they, they don't qualify. They can learn something from us if they, you know what I mean, don't try to take the approach of your feelings being hurt. Y'all grown men. And that's another thing, man. That's why, you know, switching up the frequency on the on the media because that's all these dudes do, man, is, is cry and complain and try to tear people down. Like, let's be for real. This dude got a dude who's wearing a weave lock calling him Bebe with the Fez. That's 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 not a good look. You had the other bro, uh, the other dude going in on you because y'all did some, some type of espionage where you, you know, try to put that man's personal business of what he was doing for whatever reason he was doing it. You know what I mean? And and I, I'm not even in on no position where I'm taking sides. But it's like, you know, Everybody who put on the feds is not brothers. Like it's this is just a fact. Y'all are not. I don't see it. And 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 you know, anybody could have washed Reggie up. Everybody know that. Any more who read the one oh ones could wash Reggie up. So that's not it's no it's nothing to be impressed about. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just not. What they're coming on with, the information that they've shared, this video, uh, I forgot the name of it, but Y'all let's see it. It came out on Morris World, like in the past twenty four hours or something like that. You know, this week or whatever, you could check it. But um yeah, basically that's what it is. So when they're talking about case laws don't apply in different places, they have no constitutional knowledge base and that's just a fact. The statement on its own shows their ignorance of the law, which is no excuse. So don't come up as if you're a law professor you know, and you don't know the Constitution. And over Drew Ali said, enforce that. So you disqualify yourselves on multiple or multiple levels. You just not don't like you don't want to do that, man. Like you, it's not going to be a good look for y'all. Like that's just it. So I understand something too that like in 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 this instance, right? Yeah. Look at look at where I'm coming from, like I'm a grand sheik of a temple and R V Bay is where we send Moors to go study from our temple. Right. Right? Like we, we, we give out Korans for free at our temple. You don't buy those. We give out one oh one. We give out more right. literature. Like those those are things that you get at expense. Mm-hmm. Just from you walking in the door you leave with that. Just because it's not, it's not, it's not. You know, why are we gonna charge you for that? There are all this other stuff we could charge you for. You know yeah. I mean? So recognize that that if 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 you're looking for more science temple to speak on these matters, more science temple speaking on these matters. We're more science temple. Mm-hmm. We don't think we're talking against or something like that, or or 
or we have an issue with more science temple and you know you know how they talk oh well those mourners always like to tell people don't go to the temple and all that stuff like that that certain temples we tell people don't go to that's not temples across the board there's more science temples that I send Mars to right you know what I mean there's not there's not too many out there Right. For the same right. administration reason. Right. And the mm-hmm. whole and the whole thing of when we send people to the temple, they come back and say, Well, I went there and they weren't teaching anything but you know what I mean, whatever they were teaching. Which which for whatever reason wasn't resonating with the individual who we sent there. The teachings that they were teaching in there, the energy of the building how people reacted to them being there or whatever. Like, for example, like, like we sent people even to certain more science temples and, you know, even, even more so sisters. And we'll tell them just provocative, just to see how they deal with you. Are they going to do it? Because if you're just provocative or whatever, you really need help. They should be running out to come bring you into the temple. If the temple's the salvation, mm-hmm. but if you're sort of some cleavage or whatever, and they're talking about well, you can't come in and stuff like that, or people males in the temple can't take their eyes off your cleavage and stuff like that. Clearly, that's not somewhere that you need to be because they're not upholding the highest principles. And and we're saying this because we send people. Mm-hmm. We send people to the temple. Come back with what happened at that temple there. So we could so we could know if we're talking BS or if or if it's real. And ninety nine percent of the time it's real. So it's not like we're talking bad about more science temple because we're trying to make something up. This is really what's going on out there. When people go into this place called Morris Science Temple, people are really turned off by it. They're really turned off when they go in there. They're so turned off that they don't want nothing to do with Morris, Morris nationality or anything. Just because of an yeah. experience they had going to one of these places that are supposed to be teaching them law, civics, constitution, that's supposed to be teaching them astrology, that's supposed to be teaching them you know, etymology that's supposed to have dictionaries upon dictionaries up in there, Bibles upon Bibles upon Bibles in there, so people could use that as their library instead of going to public library and all that type of stuff and it's not happening. Right. And then and then exactly. people detach from the movement opposed to realizing mm-hmm. that, oh, well that one temple right there is messed up. Let me go around the corner to the other one, see how that one is. Oh that one's messed up. Okay, well let me go around the corner See what the next one is. Oh, that one's messed up. All right, well, let me try another state and see if, you know what I mean, there's a temple there. Because you're supposed to be yeah. able to go join anyone. It's not no, you know what I mean, oh, well, because I live in whatever, I have to go to one here. And when you go somewhere else and there, well, you know, like how they do with school, and you don't live in the jurisdiction, you can't go to that school or whatever. Right. Right? Like, uh-huh. that's not what this is. You're supposed to be able to, exactly. just like, Anywhere in the world, you can access RVD publications. All right. Anywhere in the world, you're supposed to be able to say, I want to be a member of Morris Science Temple. And they're supposed to accept you. Yeah. Yeah. And if they don't accept you, and they want all this type of information that, you know, you're questioning yourself, why do you guys want that information? You probably don't want to be giving those people that information, and you probably don't want to be joining there. Or becoming a member there or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you know, think about this too, so because like, you know, another thing I noticed about you know this this recent slander is again, you know, they're trying to classify Moors who are active with law or who have the courage to stand on their nationality and birthright. They are speaking the same language as the Europeans. Or you know the, the the pilgrims. That's just what it is. That that is a fact. Like they are um, they're speaking the same language with them as far as trying to alter people's citizenship. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they're saying sovereign citizen Moors. And the question still is on the table. Who can show me that sovereign is a place to be a citizen of? That's just the bottom line. So outside of that, you know, they're dealing with false concepts, misnomers, nam de gears, for real, in these days and times. So my thing is this, like, you know, as you said, sovereignty, nationality go hand in hand. Like, they're the, it's the, you can't have one without the other. And the thing is, you know, we're either going to be upright, independent, et cetera, fearless, you know, or are they going to keep remaining servants or serfs or, or you know, doing the work for, for their superior, the European, who, who makes their laws. But then again, it's sad because it's like, well, where's the laws of the Grand Sheiks at? Because it is a documented fact. Noble Joe Ali said uh, the Grand Sheiks are in power to make and enforce law. Is that not a fact? So That's a fact. Like, all right, so where's the Moorish laws at? Show me those. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear about no statutes. Show me about the Moorish laws. Which, which, and then, and then for, for and for example, right, as far as uh-huh. with Canaan Land Temple, right, and Grand Sheik enforcing the laws, the supreme law is the Constitution. Exactly. That's the law that, that, that's the law that we're enforcing. That's the law that exactly. we told more as far as the Grand Sheik of our temple, that right. the laws that we're enforcing is the laws that are already there that should be enforced. We don't need to create any laws until we enforce what's already here. That's true. But it is an absolute constitutional right. It's a right. constitutional right via the Ninth Amendment. So even if you did, in doing that, you would still use the Constitution to do that. Exactly. Like to 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 fortify the fact that you know all your rights are not enumerated, and this is the law. You know what I mean? And here it is; it's retained by the people. Okay, this is what time it is then. Be it the Ninth Amendment, you know what I mean? Be it the First Amendment. There's there's multiple ways to do that. So my thing is, you're right. We don't need to make any new laws. But if anybody was to do it in American land, the thing that would fortify that is the Constitution. That's just the bottom line. So it's ramifications. Right. You don't throw the Constitution out if you wanted to make a law. That's your foundation to do such a thing. So, you know, right. it's like when they when they talking about statues and things like that, it's it's color of law, you know? It is color of law. And I mean, you know, from the um the same exact definition that is in the Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary. And no, we're not going to let any lame excuse to be ignorant, such as, oh, the, the, the fourth edition dictionary is their God. Come on, fam, you sound retarded. You sound retarded. They need to just stop, you know what I mean, and just do whatever else y'all doing, man. But y'all, that don't just stop, you know what I mean? Stop it sound ridiculous because like you know we're going to continue to seek knowledge and in, in, from everywhere you know what I mean like we, nobody's going to not study because there's voluntary ignorance like that's just not going to happen and, you and know, keep in mind you know, in the lessons in the in the lessons Drawley said Drawley taught the Moors that in hmm. every hall of learning we're supposed to sit yeah we're exactly. supposed to sit in every hall of learning. So for mm-hmm. somebody to be neglectful of a hall of learning mm-hmm. shows that, that they have malicious intent. Right. Just just that alone. Yeah. Yeah. Because law is a school of thought. That's a hall of learning. Why wouldn't you know the law? Mm-hmm. You know, and not even saying not know the statutes, but that's not the supreme stuff. If there's stuff that supersedes the statutes, right? Yeah. And, and keep in mind, they're not even saying state constitution. They're saying state statute is the supreme law. Right. 
Yeah, this is the sick part. That's why I'm saying, bro, like, they're not qualified to have a conversation or to even try to debate us on law in any respect. Not with that mentality. You know what I mean? You could tell that to, to people who want to voluntarily or, you know, unknowingly, you know, be slaves. But, we, you know, we unchained a while ago, so you're not saying nothing to us over here. I mean, you know... It's just showing, it shows their ignorance. That's just all, that's how I see it. You know what I mean? That's all I can see is ignorance. And then, you know, to come at RV Bay, it's just, it's, it's cowardice, bro. Like, I'm just saying, you know, it's it's cowardice. So, and, and the foundation, again, for this, the way this video comes off is, is flawed. You know what I mean? They acting like, uh, uh, the dude is a victim. People have been talking crazy for a while and been getting those passes on the low. But you know what I mean? That's not going to continue to happen. It's just not. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. That's where we're at. With it today, you know, um, once people stop being foolish and trying to, you know, discredit sources of law, sources of knowledge, because it's like this. You can read something but not understand it. There's nothing wrong with having a dictionary to interpret with, with your reading. You know, it's just the bottom line. Like, we talk about the Constitution is the law, and that's a fact. But how do you even define Constitution? You know what I mean? That's what your law dictionary is for. So don't never let anybody make you feel bad because you got sources, and they are coming from, you know, this 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 place of state statues and all of that. And like Kujo said, yeah, it's it's nothing wrong with knowing that, but you also got to understand that there can be no lawmaking that supersedes the Constitution itself. Come up with anything that's contrary to the Constitution, that's mala in say, you know what I mean? Or mala prohibited, meaning prohibited by statute. And in the international law, again, as I've said many of times, it's mala in say. Look that up in your law dictionary. You know what I mean? Before you even try to talk about, you know, what's the supreme law, et cetera. I mean, you know, what's not law, what is law, you know. But um, that's just, that's my position on it, man. I, I couldn't really listen to all that garbage. You know what I mean? I listened to most of it, but it was just garbage. So, again... Don't let anybody uh, uh, try to put Moors in the status of, quote, sovereign citizens. That's a fraudulent citizenship. You know what I mean? And that goes right back to the concept of the Moors Noble Drew Ali was talking about that have turbans and fezes and will try to put you back into slavery because they don't have, they don't have the freedom fight in them. It's not in them. So you're looking at or you're hearing perspectives of slaves with turbans and feathers on. That's all you're seeing, you know, and they're claiming to be frontline media inspired by your boy, Sonetta TV. Like, and that's, that's, oh, yeah. that's, that's lineage of this particular venue He's on record saying that. So don't, don't, don't well, try to bring the record. that, that, yeah, and, and uh, go, go ahead, my fault. I wanted to say a few more things too, because no, no, you know what sure, I mean. We just got to back up. Just yeah. to back up what you're saying, right? Um, we're gonna go to the God, page three eighty five. Constitutional psychopathic inferiority. Individuals uh -huh. who show a lifelong and constitutional tendency not to conform to the customs of the group and who habitually misbehave and have no sense of responsibility to their fellow men or to society as a whole. These individuals mm -hmm. fail to learn by experience and are inadequate, incompatible, and inefficient. Mm -hmm. These are the individuals that you're dealing with. Right? Because, exactly. again, you're talking about individuals who have handlers. I don't care what 
they say. Their language lets me know that they have handlers. Yeah. Absolutely. Their language lets me know that they work for the demos. They don't have yep. to show me a card that they belong to that or Mason Ring or some BS like that. Right. Just how they talk. And and that they put it on the record. The fact that they're talking um confid- confidently incompetent. Yeah. The fact that they're talking confidently incompetent lets me know that mm-hmm. they have handlers. Because nobody that says they're Moorish American will talk so incompetent. To to to, mm-hmm. to say that to say that statutes are the true law. Not divine constitution and bylaws is the true law. Not the constitution for the United States of America Republic is the true law. Not the state constitution is the true law. State statute, stuff created by legislature is the true law they're saying. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 concept is so warped that it has to be addressed. Cause you know, worried about corn gains and stuff like that. Those people's mentality is what's gonna get you injured. Yeah, real talk. That's true. You want to talk about you want to talk about your you're about to get injured. It's those people keeping you subject. To this European colonist boot heel through his statute is what's gonna telling you about put your bay on a license and dumb stuff like that. Go put your bay on on social security number and all that. Right. And and then trying to convince you that Noble Juali pushed that. That that's what Noble Juali said to do. Mm-hmm. You better watch Bugging out for out. these dirty moors. Mm-hmm. They're bugging out right now. They're they're going crazy right now. Because why? Yep. Just the same reason why Moors the same way that we say um um you know we 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 put it out there that we could put down nationality card, pay no taxes, right? Keep in mind, yeah. if they have handlers. Their handlers are getting something from all those members in that place called Morris Science Temple of America that is registered with the so-called state, which is why they have to enforce the statutes and not the constitutional law. Mm-hmm. Remember, they're contracted with the state. Yeah. Right? Remember, they have there, there's documented letters Remember, this is after the New Deal when the United States was not a government anymore but exercising in name only. Moors contracted with those people and set up bureaus of vital statistics and stuff like that to try to make it seem like Moors have their own stuff. If you have your own stuff, why are you going to Department of whatever you dot as democracy to get permission and to have any type of conversation with them. They exist in name only. Well, why are mm-hmm. you contracting with a name only entity? Right. And that name only entity is not a Republican government. It's not a representative government. Exactly. And these people get you. This is how they get you to give up your birthright. Because remember, it's not going to fall on them. Because ignorance of the law is no excuse. Exactly. Exactly. So when you get played, it's not going to be on them that they told you wrong information. It's going to be on your dumbass for thinking that you can make the excuse, well, I didn't know that that was the, oh, too bad. You should have known. If you stuck to RV Bay Publications, you would have known something. But nah, you want to listen to these clowns and start enforcing statutes. Yeah, that's crazy. So on that note, just to bring it back on the, to a national, divine and national level, not that it ever left, 
but I wanted to add this on too, you know, because um, they claim they're in the more science temple of America, and that you know they reference Noble Jolly. You're right, but um, in those texts you see a lot referring to specifically, you know, in chapter one and in the one oh ones, you know, to divine and national aspects of existence or natural law. So again, I just wanted to add on, um, from the Bouvier's Institutes of American Law, enumeration nine, it says the law of nature or natural law is that which God the sovereign of the universe, because mind you, you know, they, they said that the Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary is our God, right? So just to set the record straight on that, I mean, not that that's even worthy of a, a rebuttal, but to add on to that conversation or that subject of God. So number nine, it says the law of nature or natural law is that which God, the sovereign of the universe, has prescribed. Now, mind you, this is a law book speaking like this. To all men, not by any formal promulgation, excuse me, promulgation, but by the dictate of right reason alone, meaning man is mine. And if you're going to say Islam in that fashion, as if you are I self law and master, et cetera, then you know that the, the, the self, the power of self's autonomy, in other words, you know what I mean? is directly connected with the universal or natural law. So that's all a part of the supreme law in the mathematics of how the Constitution is even laid out, the seven articles, ten original Bill of Rights, et cetera. You know what I mean? And then, and then again, just to bring it back, it says um, it is ascertained by just consideration of the agreeableness or disagreeableness of human actions to the nature of man. So, like, if the, the natural law is that people want to move around. They have the right to to travel. That's just the bottom of the earth, uh, excuse me, bottom of the uh, line of the discussion. So it says, um, the law of nature is superior in obligation to any other. It is binding in all countries and at all times, meaning that natural law supersedes the statues. That's just the bottom line, man. That's the bottom line. So, you know, like I said, man, these people are not really qualified to have this conversation with us. Like, at the most, they could learn something from us as far as trying to, you know, overthrow any type of laws people were talking about or case laws because it it was in this state and whatnot. You know, come on. Like, you have no standing on that. And then, and then again, you know, that particular case law is not, I would say it's not constitutional, but it's not. Uh, it's not like it's not the truth. You know what I mean? You see what the policy enforcers are doing to the people out here. You know what I mean? Y'all see that. Don't act like that's not going down. So my thing is this, man. You know, you either voluntarily subscribe to that, and that's what they call voluntary servitude. You know what I mean? Or you really stand on that principle of freedom. And if you don't, just don't claim to be a Moorish American. Don't claim that you're representing, you know, the teachings of Noble Drew Ali because freedom is one of them. And, again, you know, get familiar with the law dictionaries. Look up freedom. Look up liberty. Also, you know, people like to say, um, well, you know, the Constitution basically authorized slavery via the 13th Amendment. But what's happening is this, like where it says that it must be someone must be duly convicted. If you don't know what duly means, you know, or what a duly conviction is, that that goes back to due process of law. So you have to know the law. You have to know venue jurisdiction. You know what I mean? All of these things correlate with knowing the language. That's just the bottom line. So if they try to um, adjudicate on somebody in an improper venue, that's not being duly convicted. So there's still a lot of people who are suffering through that with no duly convicted, not, not being duly convicted. So, you know, but I'll end it on this note. It says, um, the law of nature is superior in obligation to any other. It is binding in all countries and at all times. No human laws are valid if opposed to this. All which are binding 
derive their authority either directly or indirectly from it. Then enumeration 10 in the Institutes of American Law says the law of nations, plural, is a system of rules deducible by human reason from the immutable principles of natural justice and established by universal consent among the civilized nations of the earth, meaning that, you know, there has to be an element of consent to, you know, any any other law or law of another nation. You have to consent to that. So that's the whole thing. We are not the same as the pilgrim. You know what I mean? We do not have to consent. The pilgrims already told you in the Declaration of Independence, you know what I mean, that the people, are, it's, it's a universal law. It's national the law of nations to, you know, for the people to break away from a system that is tyrannical. That's just the natural law or the law of nations for every nation. That's 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 what it is. I'm not saying all of that is easy. I'm just saying that the people have that right. So if the Aboriginal Indigenous people, like Dr. C.B. said, when they asked him about a passport, he asked them, is the passport African? You know what I mean? Bottom line. All right, so why would I have one? And that's not a shot at anybody who does, but what I'm saying is that, you know, if your mentality is not aligned with your nationality, you know what I mean, then that's your that's that's on you. But you cannot blame someone whose mentality is aligned with their nation. Bottom line. It's nothing to even talk about. Outside of that, you know, you're a nation hater and that's just what it is. So you know, it is what it is. I I yield the floor to you, brethren. This is all noble. Um, this is my little clip no. for you. Um, oh, and and keep in mind that it's not a thing of RV being copying off some European whatever. If these people are Moorish Americans, they know that everything the European knows, they know it because of the Moors. So to yeah. say that, to mm-hmm. say that Moors, who are the founders of civilization, are stealing off a European who was taught by the founders of civilization, is asinine speaking. Absolutely, it's 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 it's. Line right up the same type of mentality of uh, Noble Jolly plagiarized from the Aquarian Gospel. It's Aquarian the same gospel, type of exactly. thought. You know exactly. what I'm saying? It's the same thing. That's our that's and, and our keep, stuff. And keep in mind, and and then when we yeah. say when we say um, it's the same type of thing. Remember that these quote unquote Moors, right? And and in these instances, they're being they're being um, compared, or their language is being compared to language of black guys. Black guys say Moors stole from the European, Moors stole the Fez from the Turks. Black guys talk like that. People with right. a black mentality talk like that. People with people who don't know history and law speak like the Moors stole from the European. Whether they're talking about um, concepts of sovereignty, whether they're talking about culture, whether they're talking about some type of spiritual discipline or whatever, anybody speaking from the perspective of the Moors stole from somebody else, that's a Negro black colored mentality. So if Moorish Americans are speaking from that perspective, clearly they are just Negroes with fezes on. I don't care if they have a building that has a sign outside. <clears throat> they're not they're not representative. Like like if 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 I was not a grand sheik, they're not my representation. Mm-hmm. As Moors, 
if 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 I'm a Moor and I study, those Moors aren't Moors who I'm looking at as my representation. If you know, what I mean, something kicks off. Right. Right. Because the con- the concept is self government. The concept right. is govern yourself. You don't talk about governing others. Mm-hmm. The idea of proclaim your nationality, declare your nationality, is now you are self consul. Yeah. You 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 have tied yourself to a nation by declaring your nationality and proclaiming it. You've anchored yourself to the land. You're not just a boat floating in the ocean. You dropped anchor. And the only reason mm-hmm. you can drop anchor is either you're doing business or this is your land. Yeah, it's just the bottom line. We 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 want people to realize that presented by Noble Juali, when we say that that you know what he brought is your salvation, right? Keep in mind is your salvation, is your divine and Moorish movement. He's your prophet. He doesn't belong to Moorish Science Temple. The the red flag with the green star does not belong to Mora Science Temple. The Holy Quran does not belong to Mora Science Temple. One one questionnaire does not belong to Mora Science Temple. That that is birthright instrument. Those mm-hmm. are thi- those are things that you are supposed to have if you say you are a national. Of the Moorish nation. Those are those are things right. that are yours. Mm-hmm. It's not something that somebody gives to you, like like you know, you know they they have their um, you know their ritual of you know you can proclaim your nationality, go to the front and do it to the, in front of the Grand Sheik and and all that stuff. Like, if that grand sheik, after you proclaim your nationality, isn't, you know, from the perspective of you're going to the building to be a Moor, right? If you're going to the building to be a Moor, then that building, when you become a Moor, is supposed to handle your affairs outside of the temple as a Moor. Mm-hmm. You don't just go there, do that, and then go back to being Negro, black, colored outside of the temple. Right. Right. Yeah. Like they're yeah, supposed honestly. to be on your behalf. They're supposed to be your consul now. They're supposed to be your representative. Mm-hmm. The the same thing that 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 we tell people when they name correction, judicial proclamation. Right, and then they get them sealed, and then they make copies, and then send it out, and put them on notice of the. That's what the temple's supposed to be doing for every single Moorish American that walks through the doors and says that they're Moors. That's why they're mad. That's why they're coming at at, at active Moors. Because active yeah. Moors are doing the processes that these guys are supposed to be doing in the temples for people. Yeah. And and they're looking bad because they haven't done that in ninety years. Yeah. In ninety years they haven't years. their place amongst the affairs of men. Yeah. Had a hundred year run. Right. A hundred year run of being passive. Well not hundred years, yeah. eighty something years. Yeah. Of being right. passive. Pardon. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. They've been passive for so long that 
they've gotten comfortable in their passivity. Yeah. Right? And then remember, because they're playing church or whatever like that, they even forgot about, you know, new moors are going to come with their eyes wide open and they're going to carry out the law and all that stuff. They all forgot about that stuff until it started happening to them. Yeah. When they start bumping into moors who know about their nationality and birthrights on the bus and telling them about, what are you talking about? I can't wear my fez on the bus. The hell yeah. are you talking about? Are you talking about I can't I can't wear a baseball hat because I'm a moor? What do you mean I have yeah. to wear a tie because I'm a moor? What are you talking about? What do you mean I can't wear a t-shirt because I'm a moor? I can't wear a t-shirt. I have to be I have to be suit and tie every day. That's goddamn crazy. Yeah. It's all show. It's all for show, man. Show and tell. Yeah. Show and tell. Yeah. Make the Europeans think that they're not Negroes. Right. But trust right. me, what, you know more with baseball hats that back down highwaymen with their nationality. Exactly. Exactly. We know, we know more. We know more with no fez, no turban that back down IRS with writs. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Go ahead. None of that. Yeah. No, I was just um. I was just gonna say that um. It was uh, my fault. It was something I specifically wanted to point out, but uh, they was talking about the straw man and things like that. Like I said, we don't. We we never promoted that process. But it is something in in uh, um, Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary, page fifteen ninety, definition of strenuous homo, and it go and it says that the definition is a man of straw, one of no substance, put forward as bail or surety, and we do see that happening. You know what I mean? Like basically, the not lawful but legalized process. Of, of buying and selling people You know what I mean Like that's really what it is It hurt when we look at it like that Because like you know They put people They, they might not even been qualified To you know be arrested for a crime But they've been kidnapped by the highwaymen And then they Create all this fictitious paperwork You know what I mean And And basically that's what that is So nobody's trying to redeem anything Or get anything Off of that you know what I mean? What it is is that's fraud. That's deception. You know, because we're still dealing with the science of the seven looking at grammar and the fact that, you know, they're writing people's appellation, all caps, all of that. Yes, that's very true. That's deceptive. You know what I mean? That is a deceptive form of, of, of abuse of process that they're using. So I just wanted to say, can I leave that concept out either? You know what I mean? Like, all of it is a is a is a farce. So again, you know, inactive moors like that, like they cannot come out and try to disqualify us and, and have standing. Like you're not qualified to even really have that conversation, bro. Like they're really not. You know? And that's just what it boils down to because everything they said shows their ignorance, man. Like everything. So what I'm saying is this, if their intention, because they got, like, you know, with that whole YouTube controversy thing, like, they, they, they like the uh, the Jerry Springer energy of consciousness. That's what they like to do. That's the frequency mm-hmm. they tuned in <laughs> on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Look, man, the community does not need that. You know what I mean? Moors will be fine. Without y'all, because you have nothing to talk about, trying to create controversy. Like, you don't have anything substantive, which is why this is why they come like that. So my thing is, you, right. you're we talking do. about people who used, to, who used to be professed battle rappers back in the day. And my thing is, that mentality inside of the Morris Nation, the Morris Movement, is, is, is whack. You know what I'm saying? If you want to battle and do all of that, do that. You know what I mean? But you're lame because you don't have standing to even even sit at the table with us and, and, and discuss these things. All you can do really is learn from us. And 
I'm pretty sure we could we can learn from the foolishness that you display as well. You know what I mean? Like it's not for it's not for nothing because we you know what I mean? Like it's it's a lesson yeah. in that too. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is like just yo, they they need to stop it, man. Like they not really they not they not built for that, like you know. So And remember like we were like we were talking about earlier too, it's no different than you know, I mean, people. People are, are. Um, consciousness has become a, a popularity contest, thanks to some people. Right, to some people, knowing thyself has become a popularity contest. Right, but now when, when you have individuals taking the position of being, of trying to be, over popular. Right, yeah. they mm-hmm. they 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 destroy themselves. Yeah, so just like how yeah. we had you know Black Power Awards and certain people who were Black Power the hardest got no awards. That's true. That's true. How come? How come? You know? the, how come the biggest the biggest mouth people for Black Power didn't get recognized by the Black Power stuff? Because even the Black Power people aren't taking the BS. Even they're fed exactly. up with the BS. Real shit, real shit. Mm-hmm. That's just they're a fed. fact. It's, it's, it's the free. It's not, it's not time. Like you know what I mean. That frequency, at this time, it, it's retarded at this point. You know what I mean. It really is, at this particular point. Like it's not a game. You know what I'm saying. So my thing is this. The Southern Poverty Law Center, they came out and slandered Moors. Um, Moors who, who weren't necessarily members of the temple and Moors who were a part of the temple. You know what I mean? Like, they, they said that, you know, they still calling Moors black in the Moors Science Temple of America a black Islamic sect. Where's your rebuttal to that? Show me that. Did you, did you, <laughs> did you have any rebuttal for the pilgrim? Calling the Moor Science Temple of America a Black Islamic sect. Show me that rebuttal, and then 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 we can talk. But until that, y'all are whack for trying to come out and think you're gonna get a wrap up. You know what I mean? Off of RV Bay publications like that. That's whack. And, 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 and for real, for real, the only conversation I want to have, or we want to have with Way L, is what happened with America Society. Because to me, it looks like it's a lot of running from from freedom going on with this dude. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that was the way. But what's, what's really good? Like, you know what I mean? What's really good? So my thing is this. You cannot, like, I mean, you, I mean, people do what they want. But you look, y'all look real suspect right now. That's all I'm saying is you're looking real suspect. And, um. You know, that frequency is, is going to die itself out, man. Like, it really is. So, you know, y'all play with it if y'all want. Like I said, we're not going to do this back and forth thing too many times. So letting you know that off the rip, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. You know, being productive members of society. And, you know, that's just what it is. That that's It's a lot of peace and joy in that. So my thing is this. You know, whatever agenda y'all have, you know, if, if if you're working for the pilgrims who who have that agenda, you know, to make sure that there's dissension, you know, and that be the public image, you know what I'm saying? Because, mind you, nobody decided to just, you know, call this dude out. He was talking crazy for a while, and and, and that's just what it is. So to act like he's a victim... You can't get that, and and I say all together, this is this this is really like it's so much more we could be going in on, but things like this, you know, sometimes you gotta just address it. You know what I mean? You gotta address it before the cancer get ridiculous. So my thing is this: y'all look crazy right now, very suspect, and um, y'all really do not have anything for us. Like that's just what it is. So 
I, I rest. I stand on that. And again, mind you, yeah. we told them that this show was going down tonight, and we will be addressing it since you know. So my thing is, we ain't gonna be going back, you know, next month, and because it's stealing energy at this point. You know what I mean? Energy thieves. So it is what it is, man. But uh, I rest on that until until any of the more who are or are a part of that platform show me a rebuttal to any one of these European institutions saying that the Moore Science Temple was a black Islamic sect. Just sit down. Don't even come at any more. No more. Whether they claim to be black or not, don't even come at nobody else. Let's see your work on the pilgrim. That's what I'm talking about. Not that, you know, like, there's not things to address, but as far as I see it, it's, it's things and people like that that need to be addressed. But what I'm saying is show me some work that you put in pilgrims for freedom. You know what I mean? And if you don't have that, you know, we, we don't really want to talk because y'all are Stevens, and that's just how I see you. That's, that's exactly how I see you. Slaves with feathers on, not understanding how people can move so so fortified with the principle of freedom. That's how I'm looking at y'all looking at us, basically. And I, I, I rest on that. You know what I mean? And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's not to say everything is all good and there's no challenges in life. I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying that, you know, so I see y'all. You know, y'all are the ones who would have got Y'all, they, these are the ones who Harriet Tubman would have put the shotgun to, and I say that in the, in the, in the, in no way to excite violence or threaten anybody's life, but real talk, you know, it was a point where this type of energy was not tolerated. You know what I'm saying? And certain people kind of got loose with it, like they could just say it, you know, try to lure people back to the status or the mental status of being content with being on the on the plantation. You know what I mean? And that's just how I see it, man. That's just how I see it. And again, I don't knock anybody who uh does what they have to do to survive, to take care of themselves and their family, you know, whether it be tangibles, intangibles, whatever. You know, because it's crazy and I don't I'm I'm not bringing nobody into this particular situation, but I want to use this as an example. Um, you look at the the video, take this pill, like the brother pill saved his life basically, has went on to, to, you know, do some things with his second chance in life. But when you look at how every living thing is connected to every other living thing, it didn't make anybody who helped him less of a, of a being because they don't have the same occupation or job or whatever. It's like, no, people have a connection to existence that's undeniable, meaning that, you know, your 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 savior your savior to come from anybody. You know what I mean? You get hit by a car or whatever, you know, the person who saved your life, it doesn't matter about what they do or don't have. The thing is their deeds. So my thing is that I, I stand on that, fam, you know. Bottom line, but yeah, we have we have some callers. You want to keep going in? You want to say anything else before? Oh no, man, those those ones those ones done got done got it. Yeah, they they really not qualified. They just stealing energy and attention at this point. So we had some we had a lot of callers, but uh, some people dropped out. Okay, so we're gonna start with caller three one four four five six. You're live on the air. Hey, Islam family, this is Brother Latez Bay, and I have my son, Gazi Bay, online. I just want to say Islam to Grand Sheik, Islam to you, man. Islam, man. Um, just in regards to everything that's been discussed, man, um, us being here in Mecca, <laughs> it's funny because we experience a lot of, uh, of what you guys are speaking on, and it's funny because, you know, us demonstrating at the Marvel Center, we get you know, always ask the question of what temple are we a part of. 
me myself personally, I either tell them I'm part of Caneland Temple or the temple is right in front of your face that you see standing before you. Um, you know, and it's funny because you got a lot of these older Moors who love to say, oh, they've been in the temple for over 40 years. And it's like, okay, but where are our schools at? How come you're not enforcing the Constitution? Why are you not enforcing the Supreme Law of Land? Oh, you don't deal with civics? Oh, so get out of my face and stop talking to me because I don't have time to waste dealing with your nonsense. And I mean that, like, respectfully, but it's just like, you know, I still had a message when I first reached out to Grand Chief Cujo of January 1st of this fiscal year, of this Gregorian calendar year, which is 2016. And I asked him about, you know, how does one proclaim their nationality? And, you know, he told me, you know, I take this serious, and if I had a number, I say that to say, ever since then, I've been doing nothing but studying and it's like that's what people really have to understand. If you study, the information is there. The 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 information that I got, I got from RVBayPublications dot com. So when anybody I see on social media is speaking ill against RV Bay, I'm at their neck. Like nah, because I know what RV Bay has been able to do for me and my family. So anybody speaking ill against Taj, Rise, Anna, Ida, Kujo, and whoever else, they dirty in my book. And there's just no way other way to put it. Like, that's just a fact for me. So, you know, as far as any more out there or any people that's, you know, on social media and, and you want to know why we go hard the way we do, just because we take this serious. Like, this is not a plaything. It's not a group. It's not a club. It's not a, you know, an auxiliary. This is your birthright. Islam, I mean, if I, like, I'd like to add to that. Um, I am Hassan Ghazi Obey at Northwestern Maxim. Uh, how are you, brothers? Um, I just wanted to um, just camel back on, on, off of that as far as the whole uh, wrong way ill thing. See, I, I kind of been paying attention to the history. Uh, you know, I took nationality and birthright seriously at about the end of 2014. So I'm, I guess you could say I'm basically two years old and taking this uh, seriously. And there's a little bit of the history that I've seen, you know, on and off dealing with that cat and, and especially dealing with uh, Brother Cujo, you know what I'm saying? So... And when, when I see certain things happen and then studying, you know, the prophet's literature and then studying administrative functions, it, it kind of, you know what I mean, starting to have me in a mindset. I remember when Mother Hannah Eda was like, it's going to come a time when you're just going to stop talking. You feel me? And, and we all know, man, I, I can be very verbose. But when it comes to that cat, wrong way L is like, it, it, it had me in a mindset that, all right, we the babies for real. Like, I ain't sent for you. You feel me? So if if, if I didn't send for you, you you know what I mean, What what is all this calling out? And then I actually realized that it's like Pavlov's dog. It's like every generation or every cycle, so to speak, you know, there's a, you know, a, a new class of us, of, of students. And then there's just this Pavlov's, you know, bell that goes off. And those that want to make sure they still got chicken breast and shrimp and steak on their table, they do their best to try to let the, uh, or make the students that are, you know, really going towards their nationality and birthright to try to make them defer from from, from the plan and, and to get off of the guarded path. Now, now, now the thing is, is that, What's so funny, these people are so, I guess at this point now, after, you know, you know, studying along with the MHHS family consistently for these two years, it's easy to see these people, and like you uh, reverberated earlier, brothers, about when you know, when you uh, listen to people's language, when you read their literature, and you actually, you know, break it down etymologically and in law, you can see that they are fraud. So after a while, you don't even want to dignify their existence with a response. And that's kind of where I see things are really going because I, I can see that there are people out there that even if their alarm clocks, so to speak, just went off a couple months ago, um, they really genuinely don't care 
about people like Wrong Way L. Like, people have come to us like, man, we don't even know who this guy is. We're just seeing that it. it's like bickering back and forth. So we don't like his energy. What are you guys talking about, though? And, I mean, this is literal inbox messages, emails. So it's like at the end of the day, I guess what's really happening is that this brother is, is wanting the attention, as, as you had said brother, uh, earlier, uh, brother, man, is that I guess his attention. But that's the thing about us. We're not looking for the attention. We're not looking for no title. We're not looking for no praise or no aggrandizement, so to speak. We just we just want to get the work done. And for you people that's been with the prophet's literature, his work for 40 years. I mean, yo, I'm 736 miles from the Saskatchewan our territory. Okay, like near the Baltimore Corporation is where I'm hailing from now. I'm here in Mecca, and where we at? You know what I mean? Like, if y'all was really doing your your job, man, it wouldn't be people here. You know what I mean? Hungry. Asking us literally every day, can we feed them? And we do in some way, shape, or form. And we ain't got to wear, you know, gold jackets, you know what I'm saying, with with little Caesars. You feel me? We ain't got to, you know what I mean, act like or post up like that because we really are really, we, let me tell you what, when it comes to Marvel Resource Center and, and First Day, we really infrastructure focus right now. We know we young in this thing, but at the same time, we got a heart that no matter what y'all say, y'all can't beat us at the pineal. You know what I mean? We trained up. We RV Bay trained up. We Canaan Land Moors trained up. We Moors over the Round Table trained up. We Moors heard, we Moors heard just in history school trained up. So we're not going to really let y'all get in our heads for real. You feel me? So that's dead. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I said all of that to say, them, them people don't even need to be, like, their existence don't even need to be dignified with a response because that alone is, like, giving them the mental masturbation that they seek. And with that, I yield the floor. Islam? Indeed. Islam? Islam, that is true. That is true. But I had to, we had to acknowledge it. They put it up today, you know what I mean? And we called out my loved ones. And, um, Indeed, you know, yeah. like, you just got too many passes already. Like, these are lanes, you know what I mean? So, Indeed, we, try to do, if we are doing our thing, being creative. We actually have things to talk about, you know what I mean? Uh, things of substance, you know? Um, and, yeah. and, and different, you know, literature, videos, et cetera, you know? The RV Bay Publications website, etc. Like it's substance, man. You know what I mean? Like we don't have to look. We don't have to look for somebody to try to go in on to have something to talk about. Though we can do that, right? You know what I mean? We can do that. But what I'm saying is, when you call out certain people, you're going to get a response. That's just what it is now. You know what I mean? Because they had a, a, a they had fun with that, but we in the days where like, yo, this is not gonna keep going on. You know what I mean? So my thing yeah. is, um, you are right. I'd rather not talk about these people, but the energy had to be addressed. You know, like I said, I felt like they're just energy thieves by doing that because they really don't have anything to bring to you. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't. They don't have they don't have liberative liberation answers like that. You know what I'm saying? So again, you know, these are clowns, lanes who had to step out <laughs> and I know what they was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's I'm gonna just leave it on that, you know, but today it was something that had to be addressed, you know, because it, it was stealing energy, bottom line. So we're giving it back to them. Y'all got it back. Y'all keep that. That's your energy. We don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it is what it is. I, I definitely, I definitely understand what you're saying as far as not even acknowledging these people. And again, like I said, they're not even qualified. So you know, that being said, man, uh, we appreciate your add-on. We have a lot of callers. The lines is lit right now. So uh, we're gonna move Indeed. to the next call. So thank y'all for calling in. Uh, there is a lot of people out Thank, thank you for Islam. all the work that y'all are doing. Islam. I'll tell you to remind me. Islam, peace and love. Indeed, indeed. Cool. All right, call it 313-753. You're live on the air. Are you with us? 
Hello? Peace. Peace and love. Call it 313. Peace and love. love. On the air. You hear me? All right. Peace and love. Can you hear me? We can hear Peace you. Peace and more. love. We can hear you. State your appellation. More. What's up, more? This noble Sharif. This noble Phoenix Sharif L. Calling from Northwest of Mexico. I uh, got love. my first chance to holler at Grand Seat. What's up, Grand Seat? There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Yeah. Good day, Man, good day, still lit up off the conversation earlier. <laughs> I, could, I, I I hear that. I hear that. Hey, seriously. Hey, hey, Miz, I wanted to get a chance to holler at you, brother, and tell you the same thing I told Grand Sheik. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. Anybody that don't get what y'all talk about or riding against is straight stupid. Like, straight stupid. They ain't even no need to acknowledge it no more. Like, they just said on the last call, y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. We ain't even paying them no attention. Y'all got us split up. I'm talking fire. Whoever don't got the fire, don't got it. It ain't no time to play with them. Mm-hmm. Real talk. That's on everything. That's, that's true, fam. Yeah. That's true. I just really wanted to call in and get my appreciation, man. Like I said, I know y'all are real. I got my, I, I, I got it personally today for myself, so I can't nobody tell me nothing. I'm rolling with it. I appreciate y'all. Word. Thank you, good brother. We appreciate you, too, calling in with the vibrations, bro. Indeed. Peace and love, man. Yeah. Peace. Peace and love, more than one. All right. Cool. Call it 412-969. You're live on the air. Are you with us, fam? It's Wild Family. This is Energy. Calling in from Northwest of Mexico. Nah, it's the energy. energy. Peace and love. How are you? I appreciate it. I am successful. Thank you for asking. And yourself? All is well. Everything's peaceful. You already know. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed, indeed. I'm appreciating them classes, Cujo. I just now got my devices working. They was going haywire for a minute. So, but I got literature all around me and other stuff to do because educating these babies, I get to learn all day too, and you know, running my government. But I appreciate y'all, you know, at least speaking on it. You know, letting it be known. That, yeah, y'all ain't worthy. I mean, I had called uh, Mama Roz concerning a matter of a gentleman who was posted on RV Bay publication, but yet now speaking against art. Man, what is you doing? <laughs> and when I got the questioning, he got real hot and heated with me. But before that, he was all about giving me a title and all this old craziness. And I, he just didn't even realize that he's talking to somebody with their eye wide open. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, you know, I'm listening to the people that come in on that call, and it's, it was more or less cult-like feel, if you ask me. You know, and like I said on the one call, basically, it's Jamestown Massacre all over again. <laughs> and I can't get mad because I'm not caught up in it. But the fact that it came across my path, I looked and see what was going on. And if it was not for RV Bay publication, to which Cujo Ottawa L. had directed me to over four years ago, if I didn't go there, I might, well, then again, knowing me, I wouldn't have got sucked in. But (laughs) but still, at least I was able to know key words like register. Wait a minute. What you mean, register? (laughs) You know? What you mean I got to give you my birth certificate? I don't have a birth certificate, (laughs) you know? But you're telling me this is what I have to do? Wait a minute. Where are you coming from? No, the biggest thing for me was that's not my flag. What you mean that's not my flag? No, no, this is your flag over here. When did this flag come into play? 2007? Okay, you got game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Try to explain to me how this is the, this is our flag and not the foul play. I'm like, okay, so exactly where did you get this information from? Well, let me tell you this beautiful story. Oh, okay, see, it's a story. Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, people can't decipher stories from, you know, what's real. And when you study like the prophet told you to do for your salvation <laughs> so you can recognize mm-hmm. those brothers and pervers and fezzes that will put you back into bondage. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
and to listen right. to these individuals on these lines. Is, and I do. I'll go and I'll listen. I had questions. You know, I asked a few questions, and he got all kind of upset. And I'm like, are you serious? I'm hoping everybody on this call is hearing this man's behavior based on asking questions. If you about teaching somebody, you surely don't start flipping off, getting mad, because they asking you questions that surely exposes you for the fraud that you are. <laughs> so I'm just appreciating the fact that, yeah, I was one of the whistleblowers because I appreciate she did the shoveling from out from under lies. She, mm-hmm. she added that to the site. Roz added that to the site. I appreciated that. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was our phone call. She was like, you know what, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put something up right now. <laughs> <laughs> she mm-hmm. did. I appreciate that because that is our online university. If you ask me, you know, you could take mm-hmm. the time that you need to study at your pace, and don't be thinking. Once again, a lot of people come into the movement because they got that slave mentality and also that lower self mentality where they trying to get over. You know, and it's not about getting over. It's about standing up right and claiming what is yours and doing what is necessary you know, to continue on as a people. Because if we don't get this together, seriously, and it really it comes down to mother, if we don't get this together, we can just call it a wrap. See y'all in the next lifetime because this, this is insane. This is really insane. And for this day and age, for people to fall for the tainted Kool-Aid with so much information out there and to attack a venue, an outlet that's about doing the work that is necessary. You gotta be insane. That's why I appreciate bringing out. You brought out the um, uh, what is it? Constitutionally inferior. What was it? Uh, psychopathically. I'm not psychopathically yeah. con- constitutionally psychopathically inferior. I am not that. I realize right. what the Constitution is. I appreciate what the Constitution is. Does it give me rights? No. Does it speak about the things that are supposed to be concerning my house guests? Yes. So why would I not enforce my house rules? That don't make sense. And for somebody to tell me, come to me and tell me, oh, you ain't supposed to support that or you're not supposed to uphold that or that ain't got nothing to do with. Wait a minute, but that's the rules in order for these people to be a guest in my house. So you tell me ignore that? Because they said it doesn't exist anymore, or it doesn't matter, or they said. But they don't have no say-so. And a lot of us are not getting that. You know, and then, like the one brother just said, you know, you've been doing this for 40, 50, 60 years, and you telling me that civics is a part of what I'm supposed to be knowing. So what is it I'm supposed to be doing then? Because I'm out here being infringed upon every single day. And you're telling me what I'm supposed to do, just sing hymns, burn some incense, make sure my turban's straight, you know, get all the regalia that the temple has to offer. I'm not putting down the temple, but I'm going to speak honest about the temple in my area. You know, I know I got to reach out to you, Cujo, become an honorary member of the temple up that way. I mean, I got a temple card already, and I, and I appreciate what I got. You know, and it's unfortunate they don't have the mindset of, of what the temple truly is, but it doesn't stop me from being a proud member of the MST of A, you know. But I'm also a national. So membership is one thing. Nationality is a whole different ball game, you know. And, and, and when people feel that they got to go to the temple in order to proclaim, declare, or be a more, uh uh-uh. uh. Go to R V Bay Publication. Deep Cana Land Moors. And there's a couple of other sites that I send people to because these are active Moors doing to work doing the work that's helping us understand what's going on, how these things affect us, what we need to do to move forward if if we just look at the work that's been done. And that's another thing. How much work you all have put forth for free, mind you. And for somebody to try to talk smack on you, and they trying to get, you know, they trying to rape the people, they trying to make revenue off the people. Say that again. Say that again. Because they, they were making a point 
they were making a point on their little video that it's for free. Um, RV Bay Publications is making something, selling something or something like that BS. on the site. That Let's is BS. That we got, yeah, that's, they that's got services there, yeah. they provide. Yeah, put that out there. Again. That's one thing. That's a service that's provided on that website. They're not doing this for the revenue. This is just a service that they provide, certain services. I mean, there's literature. It's RV Bay Publications. It's a website site that you can go get your education for free. There's literature that's basically, I mean, come on now. You cannot complain about the prices of the literature that's on RB Bay publication. Really, as much as people spend on lunch every day no. of the week, stop playing, right. you know? And then, and and then also, as, too, remember. Know, as far as people thinking that RV Bay is pub, uh, what is nationalized to people, no, the heck they are not. They're offering you, you know what I'm saying, first of all, the knowledge on why it's important to do so because the temples ain't telling you for the most part, or at least my, the yeah. one here isn't telling you for the most part. Now, and not to mention the fact that when it comes down to these instruments of so-called identification, okay, well, that service is provided. But ain't nobody telling you you got to have that. Like me, I don't have anything. I have my identification. It's about what I know and I'm, and I'm being who I am, period. You know, but they're not doing this for the revenue. Are you serious? Everything, just about everything on it is free. All those writs. Come on, you know how long it would have took me to figure out how to do a writ just to do a live, uh, my, my son's um, affidavit of live birth? If, mm-hmm. I didn't, if I didn't have R.E. Bay publication, I wouldn't know nothing about how to do a writ and the importance of what the writ is. And men's the way you break down law all the time. Yeah, let somebody try to debate. They can't debate facts. You know, that's yeah. just, you know, those are feeble minded, lower self operators, period. And I appreciate them. They just give me an opportunity to know what it looks like. And right. I just feel for those who actually fall for that, I feel for them. But at this point in the game, if you, you know, you still going with that, then you wasn't, you wasn't woke anyway. And it's a lot of right. women. Again, again, it's a lot of women that's falling mm-hmm. for this stuff. So once again, yeah. we complete, we're complete. we starting to cycle up again. So like I said, Arby Bay is not out there trying to get rich off of nobody. But, yes, we do need to support and fund and, you know what I'm saying, it takes finances to uplift the nation. And they're doing their part. Everybody that contributes to that site okay. is doing their part to uplift the nation. You mean to tell me you can't help finance that? You going to try to make a fuss about, you know, oh, well, in order for this process to get done? Yeah, that's called administrative processes. You don't mind when the DMV charges you for something. That's mm-hmm. enslaving you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't mind going down there paying for your so-called marriage licenses. <laughs> that's enslaving you. You know, come exactly. on now. What is we doing here? Signing the contract for the IRS to, you know what I'm saying, rape and pillage you. I don't hear you complaining about that at all. And get mad at me if I tell you don't do these things and go study to find out why you shouldn't be doing these things. Oh, well, you crazy. You crazy. You talking about you white. I'm telling you, that's not a DC. You, you're still playing with crayons over here. We're talking about status. You right. know, and it's just sad in RV Bay Publications. If you if you ain't going to get it there, if you can't, if I don't get it that these people, and I know of a few of them, that I know are very, very clear on what RV Bay Publication has to offer. And I've heard mm-hmm. those making attacks on Cujo as well. And I appreciate the fact that you still, you two still stand in dignity, especially you men, people coming at your mom's. You know, that's her site. Yeah. You know, she that's her baby. She birthed that. You know, and the fact that they're coming at her neck, talking about this, that, and the other thing, trying to slander it. You know, and the fact yeah. that you all tall just prove who the more really is, noble people. We ain't got this to do. We ain't got this to do at all. Your mom's told me about, um, no, Anna Nee told me about Magnificent Century, which I'm still reading through. The fall of the mm-hmm. em, uh, Ottoman Empire, and I appreciate that because right there it shows us how noble we were. Why, you know, when we did go through and conquer, folks, it's not like we was conquering to do bad to them. We was bringing peace. Right. And exactly. whenever anybody that was in the rank did something dirty under the empire, off with your head. 
So when you said that earlier, Kujo, about Tubman, put that shot into the head, that's exactly what it should be. Off with your head. We ain't got time to be playing with you. Off with your head. You know you did wrong. Ain't no talking about it. Just off with your head. Right. And that's where we need to be at. Islam. I'm going to yield the floor. Islam. Wow. And, um, and to put two, two, two more points out there. Um, mm-hmm. Remember what we were saying earlier about these um, so-called Moorish Science Temple, Moorish American Muslims that have a black mentality. Remember that. Yeah. Remember when um, Frank Gary was talking slick about the feds, he would call it the feds, F-E-D-S. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah. To imply, mm. to imply, you know, some BS, right? It's the same thing that mm-hmm. they're doing with the with the RV Bay Productions, not calling it publications. Mm. Right. This is, this is right. the same black Free mentality Friday. of talking, talking slick. Right, mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I mean, and you know, because they know that it's RV Bay Publications. They say it throughout the whole thing, but then they slide their little slick stuff in there to make mm-hmm. implications. Yeah, not realizing that you know we already, you know, peep game. We're just putting it on the record that we peep game. And then the second thing mm-hmm. that I wanted to put out there was Islam to Brother Lasana Tunica L, who replaced Way L. On the Iron Sheik 4 album On one of the tracks Because You know For whatever reason Way L Didn't want to get on the track Right mm-hmm. And Lasana Tunica L He's Ali's man And You know what I mean Me and that more I have no issues And he knows The perspective that I come from you know I mean, he knows the addicts that that brought me up, right? Mm. So, don't think that when we look over there, that you know we're we're casting stones trying to hit everybody. Some people are just guilty by association, yeah, right? And then keep in mind that brother Lasana Tunica L is the same more who taught Frank Gary's son. In, in, in school Word So certain people are going to talk BS about Moors But their son is going to have a teacher In their school that's a Moorish American And they're not Taking their son out of that school Or debating You know what I mean Why is a Moor teaching my son and stuff like that Yeah You know what So It's like this man Yo, there's so much information that has been given for free, you know what I mean? And that will continuously be given with no with no charge attached to it, no price tag on it, you know what I mean? It's like this. RV Bay Publications, you got the written. You got your, your, your digital text, right? You can, it's all online university. If you need your audio, we got the blog talk radio, MHHS Principles of Nationality and Action, Eyes Wide Open. Every Tuesday, Sons of a Lie, every third Thursday, Sisters Standing on Law, every third Sunday. You know what I mean? And then we got the visuals as well, whereas you have a lot of videos on the Canaan Land Moors page. Already already addressing these issues, you know what I mean, and that's not even at ex- like that's not even at the expense of the people like this is just being like this is not even at the expense of the people, so my thing is all of that information that's been that's been given, you know what I mean has value, meaning that these people they study they study certain people and you know, statues and all of that. And there's people who pay thousands of notes to learn color of law without a question, to learn color of law. We're not even charging anybody to teach law like that. Yeah, people, you know, when you write it down into book format, yes, okay, just like you 
Everybody got their Bibles and things like that and cabalions and all of that is good. But there's so much information that could always be shared. So there's nothing wrong with that aspect. I and mean, nobody's getting scraped for literature. You know what I'm saying? It's not a scrape. So my thing is this, man, like, Nobody could come at us and the fact that, you know, somebody responded because they did say, you know, oh, well, they responded because it must have struck a chord and, you know, touching the pockets. And nobody was going to respond to to the trash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, no, real talk, man, like real talk. But um, none of that is even the case, you know, because it's like the people are saying, man, like people see them more clearly for who they are. You know what I mean? And that's just the bottom line. But uh, we still got some calls to take. There's a lot of calls, as a matter of fact. So we're going to have to move on to uh, the next caller. Sister Energy, thank you much for your call. Peace and much love. I just wanted to say thank you. Like you said, we're on the divine side now. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And thank you. I hope everybody no. did. They work on the uh, super moon that was out on Monday. Seriously. Right on. Right on. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, Peace it was love. it was super huge too. Yup. Peace and love. Yeah. That 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 was uh that was that moon was super huge, bro. You know what I mean? And and it was like crazy. But uh, they said it was like it hasn't been like that since like uh, what did they say, nineteen forty something, something like that. But with that being said, we're gonna get into the next caller, caller nine seven two eight three nine. You're live on the air. You with us? It's Long Farm, Liz Abdul Malik Sabir Shakur Bay, coming from North West American, the Moore Territory from the Texas Republic. Islam family, I like to say, what's up, Miz Islam? I hear you cool with you. What's happening, my brother? Everything is peaceful, Mark. Now, Mm -hmm. I'm just been down here, and guess what I'm studying I'm reading? I'm studying the Negro problem. And see, these Negroes, they all the ones who have an apt uh, out in their ass and they want to go up because they feel like ain't nobody listening to them. Ain't nobody reading their context or whatever uh, message they got to, because it's flawed. And now when you step boundary and you're going it's your family and we know how we work raised up from the elementary. You talk about my mom, you're going to go on with a black eye. So leave my mama and leave my mama, mama out of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a man. You a man that's handled like a man. You know what I'm saying? Now, we ain't going back there. We ain't going like that there. Now, these right. so-called want to be more, uh, uh, always got to have an attitude. If you got an attitude, once you go check it, go to the doctor. Get somebody to prescribe you something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So you can get rid of that and you come on with the rest of the folks because no but you are left this here for us to wake ourselves up he's left us everything to save the world now go out and save yourself now once you learn how to do that save yourself don't be implementing don't be creating no situation and stop that childish stuff and grow up and be a man you call yourself a man but you acting like a boy. As I said, that is the Negro problem. You don't want to be Negro, black, color, mm-hmm. African American, whatever you're going to be next week. That's fine with me because it's you. Continue that, find those who want to associate with you that, and leave us more than nobody who are doing what the prophet said, raising ourselves up. And then helping those who want to know who their foremothers and forefathers were, which you are today, descendants of Morocco, born in America, and this is our land, and then the law and the true divine ways of how to go by getting what's yours back. Not nothing special with all these Negro popping up, but I can teach you this here today, and I can teach you here 
the mouth. No, stop that nonsense, that foolishness. Go buy what the property left for us and learn and go on RV Bay Publication. If you have another say that is legit, have you a black law dictionary? Uh, I advise a fourth edition, fifth edition, and sixth, and when you go beyond that, that's another story. And look up every terminology, your words, and everything that you got. And if you don't know, go to the site. It's free, and you will get an education. But please, uh, 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 do a, well, I can't even pronounce the brother's name. But anyway, put your picture up on the wall and go... Go to uh, Home Depot and buy you some darts and throw at yourself. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. This is Lob Noble. Thanks for calling in. With the great Speaking vibration as usual. Peace, Speaking Noble. Love, word. Indeed. <laughs> word. That being said. That's an old school one right there. <laughs> yeah, he threw it back with that one. He definitely threw it back. Appreciate that. But uh, we're going to move to the next caller. Caller 718-669. Y'all live on the air. Are you with us, fam? Islam, peace. It's Giasi calling from Northwest of Mexico. Peace, peace. I know what's going on. Peace, peace. I know that a lot of times I usually say ignore people. But like the elders said, when I was growing up, you say something about moms, straight jacket, you getting broke up. And I don't want to sound like I'm talking street, but sometimes you got to deal with people like that. But these guys is clowns. They are straight clowns. You got to stop listening to these guys as clowns because that's what they dare to do to distract you. Now, yeah. the pedagogy the pedagogy that you guys are using is not being done anywhere else. Pedagogy mm-hmm. is the art and the science of teaching. You got Kujo with the music, which Word. is another way of teaching, because you know, you know how you learn your ABCs, it's a song. So mm-hmm. you got Kujo mm-hmm. handling that aspect. You got Roz and Anna E and you yourself. If people knew how much time and how much work that you guys put in, they would actually run away because they'd be mm-hmm. like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be all day. I got to go to the party. You know what I'm talking about? So, right, right. So that's really what's on their mind. They're not thinking about anything. And anything that's on RV Bay publication, you don't have to believe what RV Bay publication because you could go research and find out it's truth anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then you got that guy, Sonetta. He, all he do, and I'm saying names because I don't care. Well, you know, Gary, they, Frank Gary. Frank Gary. These guys, all they want to do is pit one against the other. But that's the mm-hmm. whole trick, divide and conquer. And they like yeah. children because they want to be heard. Oh, you know what? You know, and they want to pull up their pants and, you know, they want to be revered. This ain't no club thing. For real. You want the club thing? It's all right if you want to be the club thing. But mm. this is not about that. They keep forgetting. It's called a Moorish divine. They forget that word divine all the time. They don't mm-hmm. even look it up. And then you're talking about um, vibrating on a certain level. You can't talk trigonometry to a guy that can't count. They not on that sure. level to even comprehend what you're saying. So it's almost like you're wasting your breath because they're not there. All they do is copy and paste. That's what they do with they, with they verbiage as well because they listen to what other people say. They hear what this guy said. They hear what this guy said. They memorize that, which is what this public school system teach you. Memorize and regurgitate without comprehension of what you're regurgitating. And that's what they do. They run around back and forth, and it's all about fiat to them. You're not about no divine movement. You're not about the birthright because you're still stuck on the fiat. Your mentality Mm -hmm. is to step on all your people just for you to make a little progress, not making no way. And these people got grandchildren and children. 
What are you not even thinking about your own immediate family? These guys is like crazy. Like, but you got to address it because you can't come at the mother. And they don't need to be thinking that you guys are standing alone because you're not at all. Word. Really, on on all type of levels, and I don't even want to go there, but y'all not standing mm-hmm. alone, guaranteed. These guys Word. is clowns. They try. I mean, I went to a temple before, and they tried to give me some registration papers. But if you're using your seven senses, because they say it's mm-hmm. five, but I say it's seven. I say you got mm-hmm. the touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sight. You also got intuition. And analysis, because yeah. you yeah, use these seven fun. senses all day, every day. Mm-hmm. So when you see the information after you don't brought in whatever the information that you got, you analyze it and you see what they're saying is not correct. You don't have to listen to them anymore. If you study and you don't have to pay them no mind. Whatever people are following them, some people you can't save. They're just going to go off the cliff with them. That's just what's going to happen. Everybody is not going to get saved. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of children coming up. Because what the Jesuits said, they said, if you give me a child from the age one through seven, he'll be in the church for the rest of his life. So what they're mm-hmm. trying to do is impress upon our children, which is why I commend Cujo with the with the rap songs that y'all be coming out. And even the sister, you know, miseducation of the Negro. That type of stuff sticks in your head. Because when we had revolutionary music, we had revolutionary men running around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They changed, they, they put the, the, the same music and changed the words, and they messing with our subconscious mind. Well, not minds, because I see what's going on. But our youth don't know what's going on. This is why the music is that way. But these guys are the same, they part of the same setup. They part of the same setup. And these guys are straight traders. They straight up traders. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to take up too much time. I heard you say you got a lot of calls, but I, yeah, I'm getting tired of yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're getting tired of them. I'm trying to, them. I'm trying to ignore them, but I'm really getting tired of them. It's like somebody need to go up and they, but, but anyway, they, I'm getting tired yeah. of them. You know, I can't I, go I to the brother. level that they're on, but I, I'm really tired of them, you know? It's like they don't yeah. stop. It's like, come on, man, relax. What you doing? Yeah, real talk. I told Shut the up. brother, yo, and, and I appreciate you calling him, Giazzi, but I told this brother because um, he put on his post on his page, he said, anybody got a problem? Because he called, he called out. He was like... Anybody associated with RV Bay, if you if you feel some type of way, you know, you could email me this, that, and the third. I'm like, look, Sons of a Lie, 9 o'clock p.m. tonight. Y'all was called out. You can't tell me you don't have the information because in, their, in, in the video, they're pulling up RV Bay publications. You know what I mean? The new post and everything. So they have the information. You know what I mean? But I also told him, like, I'll come to Baltimore. Like, don't, like, like you say, and I appreciate the support on that. But by no means are we on any type of standing alone front. Like, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will come there. You know what I mean? If you really want to talk. I told son that straight up. And I will. I really will. I have no problem with that. I, I, and I, I do, do have right family with out there. Too. You know what I mean? I, I have work. family out there. Like on yeah. some real shit, same exact apartments. Corinne Gaines got shot in. My brother lived there. Okay, so my thing is, I have no problem going out there. We don't, we don't gotta be violent if they really wanted to know. You know what I'm saying? Like if they really was inquiring, it could have been a formal invite. But that's not what they're about. So my thing is, like, yo, listen, man. You know. It, the 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 aspect of trying to promote that or project that to the general public, you know what I mean, and it's, it's sarcastic. You know what I mean? They're not it's not sincere. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? That's that's all I'm saying. So it's like this, you know. I told him, man, like we ain't because he was like anybody got a problem, we could stream right now. 
I'm like, nah, we don't even got a ticket to the internet because, you know, I don't know if they retarded, but some people don't really realize the lines that they may be crossing. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, like, look, it's really like that. It's 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 nothing to come see you. It's just like that. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. In 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 wherever you at. So, you know, it is what it is. That's just the bottom line. So, you know, people talking crazy about oh Corinne Gaines and she was look, man, people have more courage than these dudes do. Like sisters is not all sisters is not wired soft. You know what I'm saying? I know they got the that energy with them, but it's at the point now where it's like, you know, you're not coming at, my, at, at from nobody. Like, it's not going down without a response. And I'm not even trying to summon that energy, but I'm just saying that if that's what it got to be, then, you know, we'll go in, you know, because at the end of the we day, are- if this is about max law and knowledge, We'll we'll watch you all day. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You will get tsunami. That's just what it is. Tsunami other ways also because at the end of the day we sons and you know what our job is to protect mother. Period. Yeah. Uh, So whether we dispensing information or not, we're not gonna let you violate mother like that. That's not happening. So they need to get their head together. I got people out in Maryland too. I got some people out in Maryland and I'm gonna just leave it at that. But yes. these guys is out of order. I work with people like this. They got their mm-hmm. mouth because they on the job and you in front of the foreman and all of that. But, yo, my man, what's wrong with you? I'll wait for you after work. We ain't got to do this here. And I'll leave this job. I'll wash you up on the job and leave. Stop yes. it. <laughs> because any other condition, you wouldn't be talking sideways like that. I know guys like you. You was running when it was in school time. You was scared. You was a guy hiding. I know you. You ain't got no heart. You never had heart. So stop it. Stop Stop trying to act like you something that you not. I see these guys. It's like the guys running around the streets. You a gangster. You a gangster. You shooting at your own people all day long. The cop come on the block. You throw your gun away and run. What are you talking mm-hmm. about? I thought you was a right. hard rock. You supposed to be built like that. And you running from them, but you shooting at your own. You're a punk. That's what I call them. Exactly. But anyway, I get excited about this because they, they, <laughs> uh, they, yo, I, I really be getting tired of them. I'm tired of people with their nonsense. And these guys right here, sometimes I hate to say it, you got to go down to the other stage on them and deal with them. It's like, yo, my man, keep running your mouth like that. That's all. Mm-hmm. Keep running your mouth like that and something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going to regret none of it. Because they yeah. talk too much. They need to stop it because you're poisoning a lot of minds with your nonsense. You're hurting our people. So now you hurt me, I got to defend myself. You go at mother, I got to take you apart. This is it's a whole other yeah. story. It's you know what I'm saying? Yep. I don't want to. Exactly. I don't want to vibrate that low energy like that. I don't want to go to lower self again. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Now we, yeah. we non-violent, non-violent for the record. You know. What yeah, I mean? no, no, I'm not. I'm not talking violence. I just know on a the thermometer you got hot and cold. It's still one temperature. That's the polarity, right? You yep. got to balance yep. it out. You still need yeah. the lower half. You can't just discard it. It's part of you. So yes, that's true. relax before that's true. the lower half take the front half. That's mm-hmm. all I'm saying, you dudes. Why they ain't call in? That's another thing. I was waiting for them to call. I'm like, all right, they're going to call in today. Oh, they invited them to the cool. phone. What they have to oh. say? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. You got to, I mean, we say, you say what you say. Everybody said what they said, and I guarantee anybody that read RV, I'm not even sending nobody to no other site because I haven't seen a reason to go any other site. It's like, right. yo, know, you need about seven to eight years to go through RVB. Yep. And by the time you finish with that eight years, it's more information that came after that. Mm-hmm. It's a real university. Really, it is. It's like, 
There's pages I haven't even finished with mm-hmm. because I I didn't digest it properly. So I you know I got to take my time so I could get it before I move on to the next stage. But mm-hmm. you can't beat RV Bay. <laughs> I mean y'all gave y'all giving it up the way it's supposed to be given up. And Cool Joe, keep doing your thing with the music because we need that. We need that. Love. The Mass is 29. We need that, too. We need it all. Word. And it's always coming Salute. correct. Salute. Indeed. Indeed. Yup, we're going to keep going hammer time. You know what I'm saying? That's it. We're gonna That's it. We're going to keep going hammer time with that. So, indeed. Indeed. Like, uh, I'm definitely going to flood, flood it this Thanksgiving week, you know, with, with a lot more videos. And things like that, and and I'm sure there'll be much more information up, RV Bay publications, etc. Cool Joe, like you said, stay going in. The music, like you said, we definitely do need that. And that Wow album, I'm just scratching my head, tapping my feet, waiting for y'all to mm-hmm. hear that, man. That's crazy right there. Like, so yeah, man. Like, I just I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Calling in. Adding that vibration on, and, and that's that's real, man. Like, we are doing good things, you know what I mean? And we hear that more often than this these clowns with tur- uh, with feathers on, you know what I'm saying? Acting as if they're representing Noble Drew Ali, as if, you know, there was no and there's nothing before or after them. Like, it's a farce, man. Like, so some people... You know, they say attention whores, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's really what it, they they on, you know what I mean? And that's just what it is. So, you know, they ain't have no standing, bro. We ain't even going to trip on them like that. They Indeed. don't. <clears throat> real talk, real talk. But them that's listening, they need to know it could go another direction if they don't slow down. They need to slow down with that because people getting tired of that. After a while, you get tired. Mm-hmm. They need to slow down, seriously, because they acting like Absolutely. people can't reach out and touch them. Exactly. They can be touched, mm-hmm. and they won't be ready for it either. They could talk all that nonsense on the video, but talk don't mean nothing. Exactly. But anyway, I apologize for ranting on like that and and and, and getting in an angry mode because. That's just part of my personality. It really is. Uh, you know, I'll be working on it, but I hate to see guys Hold like up. this. They punk. Come on, stop it. You're a punk. You you talking nonsense. First of all, you don't even know what you're talking about. Then you're trying to yeah. mislead the people purposely so you could get some fiat out of them. That's all you're doing. That's all it is. It's all about fiat. You got guys claiming domiciles so they could charge mother money. What are you doing? You exactly. skip past that. It's the, it's the Moorish and whatever your appellation is, movement of the world. That's all it is. Because they took out yeah. everything else. They replaced right. those words with something else. Indeed, hey. bro. Indeed. But y'all Love keep so much love. I, I thank you for calling in this night, man. And mm-hmm. adding all yeah, cool, yo. Don't yeah. stop with the music, yeah. man. I'll be hearing you. <laughs> we got it, yo. We got it. It's love. All right. All right, peace. Indeed, indeed. That's peace, man. That's peace. So we're going to take the next caller. Caller, oh, hold up. Pardon me. Caller 719-964. You're live on the air, family. Greetings. This is Brother Bukhari Bottle Bay from Northwest of Nixon. Peace, Brother Bukhari. Brother Bukhari. Yes, yes, yes. Peace, peace, peace. And um, I just wanted to call in and, and lend my voice. Um, and, uh, boy, this is very upsetting. I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that this stuff is, is going to continue, or rather has been continuing. And it's it's very upsetting for me because I, I know what RV Bay has done for me. I know what Sons of Allah has done for me. Um Ms. Raeem and Kujo, I know what both of you have done for me. Um, there have been many times when I have been in a low place and uh, listening to the show, having conversations have picked me up 
uh, many times I've been in a low place and uh, MHHS eyes wide open Tuesdays, Wednesdays have picked me up. Um, I literally have a uh, much thanks to give for RV Bay Publications more so than just um, purchasing items. Um, I mean, I've literally benefited from the writs myself in uh, uh, these administrative venues. Um, and so um, that's real. I mean, that's tangible. Um, so um, it's, it, you know, it's beyond upsetting for me to, you know, to hear these people um, talk about your mother like that because I have a great deal of respect for both Anna Eve and Rod Samaya. And they are mothers. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's so true that one of the, you know, callers called in about back in school, you know, when you were younger and people talk about your mother, you know, how you react, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, or, or, or your family. And, um, you know, it's the, the brother that just called in prior to me, you know, so so much of what he said was just spot on, and I can certainly comprehend and you know fathom his anger um, because this stuff has been going on for a while and it continues to go on and it, it seems like it's getting worse. You know, um, so um, I'm not going to run on too much. I, you know, I, I am extremely upset, uh, and um, I, I would also like to say that. Um, just like the brother said, like one of the things that the previous caller mentioned that there are people out here who, you know, have your back, you know, and and, and I really mean that. Uh, you know, I'm one, but, you know, when I say that, uh, I really mean that. And, um, it, you know, and it, it, I can't tell you how much it upsets me to hear how people could come at Mother Roz Romaya. Or, or Mother Anna Eve, you know, um, I don't have to agree with everything that, that everybody says, but I know what, I mean, I know about the, so many times that I've purchased products and they would send me free stuff, a lot of free stuff on top of the items that I already purchased. You know, I, I mean, that's real for me. You know, like I know about the uh, uh, numbers of, of individuals who are members of the Morris Science Temple of America, and let me qualify my following statement. I don't have a problem with the Morris Science Temple of America, uh, you know, in its original format, or the, you know, Holy Temple, uh, Morris Holy Temple of Science, or, or the Morris Canaanite, you know, temple uh, uh, that was generated by Prophet Nobu Ali because I comprehend what he was trying to do for our people at those times. But there are numerous individuals that I've spoken to that never called me back, that never sent me any free information, that never volunteered any free information. You know, there, there are only a few individuals um, that are mem- there's only actually there, there's only one individual that's a member of a Morris Science Temple since I proclaimed and declared, uh, uh, and, and and that's still conversating with me in any way, shape, or form. And speaking of that individual, um, you know, uh, uh, he's allowed me to utilize his music. In my videos And never asked for a dime Never asked for a cent You know you, you know, He said well he, He's never said to me Well you know Bakari If you use one of my songs In your video um, You're going to have to send me X, Y, and Z You know He's never done that I'll tell you what he's told me He's told me That's your music That's what that man told me You see All right. And you know, so um, I, you know, I've had a few conversations with yourself, you know, and 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 and, and your mother and mother Anna Eid, and every time that I've tried to donate, 
people always tell me, well, well, when we hook up and when we see each other, you know, let's go out to eat or something like that. So, you, you know, it's, you know, so this is absurd and it is extremely upsetting for me because, you know, it, it's like there's a, you know, for me, there's a few things that are going on. You know, either there's something wrong above the neck with some of these individuals or they're, you know, they are agents working for certain entities, you know, um, and that's it. And I really don't need to try to do too much work on which is which. There's going to come a time when, um, they're, you know, they're going to do other things. And I just hope that, you know, people start preparing for those things. And I'm not going to go in on that. I'm not going to, because I don't want to, uh, you know, start something here. But, um, you know, hopefully that won't happen. But, you know, um, because these, cause these people are going to start losing their little fiat that they're making. Because people are waking up more and more. And, you know, like, and I firmly believe that the more people study, that the more time that people open up a book and read and start investigating these issues that have been brought to the forefront by RV Bay publications that are not being done so for free by other people, you know, because there are other people out there who are talking about some of these issues, but they're doing it at expense, you know, at cost. You know, so, um, you know, and with the little, you know, and with the items that RV Bay is selling, is providing, the the minimal cost that they're asking for these things, you know, it, it's just incredible. It is just incredible. And one of the last things that I'll say before I yield the floor, I know that there are more cars, is that the brother, the, the previous caller mentioned that, uh, you could literally be on RV Bay for more than, you know, for around, or, or I think he said roughly seven years, you know, and certainly that's a relative, you know, time, uh, depending on the individual and your ability to absorb information, et cetera, et cetera, your discipline and, you know, the time that you have available, all of these things factor in. You know, um, what I'm finding, you know, with myself is, is that when I do have times where I'm consistently studying is it, it you know it you know for me it, it, it takes a really long time because there's so many layers of information that we did not get as children in the public school system so there's so many um, foundations upon the several liberal arts and sciences that we don't have because we weren't taught properly so as an adult when you start delving into this information you're you're already you know, so far behind that, that now you got to try to catch up. And so for RV Bay Publications, uh, uh, the work that your mother has done, uh, the work that Anna E. Has, has, has done is just incredible in this day and age. And the last thing that I'll say is that truly they are brave. They, they are courageous um, mm-hmm. because for them, to and, and and well, I can't say you know any other way, you know the you know like I've like I'm a combat veteran, and and and, mm-hmm. I, and I say that a lot, not you know not to pat myself on the back or anything like that, because uh, I'm no hero, but what what I am saying is that they have more courage than most men that I've met in my life, both of them. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know, and and and. That's from my estimation, and 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 so, um, I guess I will just say this: the day that if it, you know that if how do I want to say this that you know and, and because I don't want to take this someplace that doesn't need to go, but if ever I hear that something has happened, uh, uh, you know that. I'm not even going to say it because, you know, I don't even want to think it. Uh, those individuals are, well, I'm not even going to go there. Um, I just wanted to call yeah. and, you know, just say, you know, thank you very much for, you know, the show. Um, 
and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry that, you know, this is, you know, continuing to happen, but this is what it is. And uh, Islam, I love you. Islam Noble, thank you for adding on. More highly appreciated. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's crazy because, you know, uh, I, I, like the work that's put in there, like a lot of people really don't understand. You know, I've seen work be put in from, you know, all day, falling asleep at the desk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stacks. You know what I mean? Signing papers, thick, thick as law dictionaries. Stacks of papers. You know what I mean? So, like, you can't. I don't know, man. These dudes is clowns. That's all I have to say. But uh, with that being said, man, we only have a couple minutes left, and we do have a few callers. So we're going to go to the next caller. Actually, we still have a lot. And respectively, but uh, we're gonna go call a five one three five seven eight. You're live on the air. Islam, Islam, Islam. This is Brother Raymond Winkiel out of Northwest of Mexum, Ohio Republic Territory, near the Corporation yeah. called Cincinnati. I want to say peace and Islam to my grand Sheikh Kujo Awael. What's up, my brother? Islam, I want to say peace, peace and. Islam to you, Miss, because um, I just got to keep it 100, man. And personally, I just get frustrated with the with the nonsense, with the bull, with the mm-hmm. just misdirection of the movement that some of these clowns, like you said, Miss, they clowns, that they're doing, they're just putting out this information that is really misleading the people and not appreciating or not giving props to the works that RV Bay Publications has put in. I'm I'm an avid, um, avid study of R.V. Bay publications. I mean, this saved my life. Mm. It really did because, you know, the studying I was doing, I was getting a little mixed up and some of the things I was hearing from this person, some of the things I was hearing from that person. But when I went to R.V. Bay publications, it put it all in perspective. I'm talking about everything from astrology to religion to law, to just everything dealing with nature, dealing with mama, dealing with the number nine. To me, it's one of the greatest sites I've ever been on. I mean, there's not a day that I do not go on that site and research and learn and relearn because, you know, I'm a type of person that I can learn something and then, you know, I rarely forget it, so I have to go back and repeat myself again so I can, you know, hold fast to it and, you know, just make sure I have it within my, my being so when it needs to be applied, it's there. It's, it's right there. And, I mean, the information that's on that site is just incredible. I have yet to see anyone else besides, I could say, the brother I see the Duke of Tears who comes with so much information. I mean, and, yes, I get frustrated and I get mad, and some of these dudes, I do be wanting to just, you know, put my hands on, you know, not to try to go into lower self, but I do, man. I'm a Sagittarius by nature, so, you know, I'm I'm a fire sign, and I, that fire within me be wanting to just burn these dudes up, man, because I'm getting tired of Long Way Hill. I'm getting tired of all these other clowns that, you know, keep talking mess about my, you know, lies, talking mess about, you know, Taj, you know, just just being very disrespectful to, you know, the movement itself because yeah. I know for a fact from what I heard from Taj, what I hear from Rob, they have more information within their pinky finger than a lot of these dudes have in their complete bodies. That's just real talk for me. I mean, that's and that is, that's so, man. I got to give props and honors to you, my brother, for, you know, really not taking it there because I know you want to. I mean, that's moms, man, you know. And and like 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 the brother uh the brother the Moore spoke earlier, you know, I'm 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 forty three earth years and I'm from that time and era that you couldn't say nothing about moms without getting your jaw crashed in. It's just real talk, like you know, so yeah. I really honor yeah. you and, and give you the props of not you know, going to, you know, do I may, I, what you may feel in your heart sometimes you want to do because that is your mother, man. And, 
I did Fox yeah, and Cujo, you, my grand yeah. seat, because I love the way he drives the nail into the coffin on these dudes, man. You know, Cujo, my mm-hmm. brother, man, you just don't know how, how, how weak, and, man, you be having me. I be laughing so much the way you just be hitting them <laughs> in the mouth with stuff. Like, I be over here just on the floor. Like, I say, sometimes Cujo may have missed the calling of not going on stage and, you know what I'm saying, telling jokes like that. Bro, you got a gift for just having me, like, weak, like, but you be hitting them with hard facts, too. Facts that sometimes they can't even bounce back from. Sometimes I see them running. I see them running from the questions you hit them with. I see them running from the information that you present. And right. I just want y'all to know that on this part, with me, there's more here. Y'all got a soldier any time of the day, man, any time of the day. You know, I, I don't care about these dudes in the sense that I won't go at their heads with the information. I won't put them in perspective. I won't put them on the spot and let them know, like, oh, hold on. No, y'all ain't about to be, be just misleading the people like that. Y'all ain't about to just be misdirecting the people like that when it's already bad enough that we're fighting forces on a multi-billion dollar industry. You know, that drug called Christianity, it got a backing like no other. And, it's, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Christianity in the sense of, you know, uh, people having a faith that helps them out in the life. Because everybody needs some type of, you know, thing to get them through the day. But I'm just saying in the aspect of it not being a true teaching that the people, that our people need to be hearing when it comes to nationality and birthright. And we have this religious industry that is really hard hitting. It's like going up against the rhino. When Spider Man used to go up against the rhino, man. It's nothing hitting hard like that 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 industry. So with us doing what we can with the little forms we got and and, and, the, and the movements that we putting putting in and the information that we putting out, it just it, it, it makes it sometimes discouraging to want to keep doing this. Because you got to go against these knuckleheads every day. Every day you got to go against a knucklehead saying some stupid, some dumb, some of you know misdirecting the people to the point where you're like, you know what? And then you get yeah, to the but point you know where, what, bro? I I want to yeah. say I, I really appreciate you calling in and adding on. We have a lot of callers left. Enough to say that everybody's not going to get their call taken tonight. Sorry yeah. to say, but um, we want to move on to the next one before this this broadcast closes down. But I do want to say this: I really appreciate your call, fam, and it's it's not for nothing. I really do. And let the record show: Tahaka Bay was put on notice on this Morris World TV page that this session was going down tonight, and he was called out to come to it. We, you know what I mean? So we're not going to do this back and forth thing too many right. times. You know what I mean? So I want the record to reflect that none of them called in. You know what I mean? And they were well informed. It ain't like we just yep. decided to do this and woke up to a video being posted up. No. They knew six hours or even more in advance that this was going down tonight. So. I'm just saying, we put it on the table. But with that being said, we're going to go to the next caller because of the time limit, fam. But we highly appreciate you. All due respect. Oh, no problem. It's on the record. Islam. Islam to you, brothers. Islam. Islam, more. Islam. Yeah. Peace and love. And uh, just for the record, M- Mother Ana E, she just want everybody to know she just sent me a text. She appreciates all the support. You know what I'm saying? Likewise, I'm sure my mother does as well. But that's the fact. So, you know, thank everybody who, who knows about MHHS Eyes Wide Open, what we're really about, you know what I mean, and, and, and it's there in support. We appreciate that. that that's, that's, in, like, that's, that's super valuable. We call it 352-509. You're live on air. Oh, oh, and hold on. Sister Standing on Law this Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the record. So call it three five two five zero nine. You're live on the air. Are you with us, fam? 
Absolutely, family. All the way, all day. This is Nemael really Bay. For real, all for right. real. You know, and you know I real feel talk. you. You know, I call you brother mm-hmm. Miz. So if you my brother, that means that's my mother. And like so many more have said, old school. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you talk with any of the old heads, they'll tell you that's what's wrong with the world. A lot of these. Folks don't respect the code, and the world is run on code. I don't care if you're talking about the binary code, DNA, RNA, United States code. It don't matter. Code is code, you know, and um, you got to respect mother. And when I start to feel a certain way, I have to check myself, and the barometer, no doubt, is the prophet. What did the prophet say? More respect for woman, you know what I mean? you got to show some respect. And going in on that, Brother Cujo laid it down, and I love the way he does it because he's tapping in to the ways and the arts of the ancestors with the music, which is seriously casting spells. And like Brother Cujo say, hey, pull down Orishas like skullcaps. You know, really, I, I feel my brothers. You know, they, they will rub you when they come with the with – the, Pardon the French with the fuckery. They will rub you when they come with it, but we're going to bump it up to the higher level, you know, and um, go divine on them. And, yes, this type of stuff is not going to be tolerated, not because I say so, but because the universe says so. It's a brand-new day, man, and it's not a game. It is for real, for real, for real. So, bruh, hey, keep doing what you do. Keep putting the smack down, putting the hammer down. Why? Because the prophet said so. Chapter 5. Tools in the workshop of the mind. You need a hammer. Keep hammering home the point. Not going to stop it. Just keep dropping it because it's what's real. And when you come in with the truth, the only thing that opposes truth is falsehood. So just keep coming with the real. And it's obvious who is one, what's what. Like the prophet said, those who were with me 2,000 years ago are with me today. And those who were against me before were against me now. It's just. Is not it's difficult. Not. It's real simple. What's going on? Simple. And simple, yes, bro. clown all over mm-hmm. the world. Think I'm lying? Ronald mm-hmm. McDonald. You're going to see him all over because that's what's going on. But like you yeah. said, vampires. Like the movie Blade, it shows we got some vampires who look like us. Now, when I was younger coming up, I always thought that vampires were pale skinned, but newsflash is some in turbans and fezzes, and don't be fooled. Mm-hmm. Vampires, for real, for real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quickly to say, and they say they they say skin folk ain't always your kin folk. You know what I mean? And that's just no what doubt. it is. So yeah. That no being doubt. said, we're gonna take the next caller, brother Zama Ill. Man, we would love for you, for you to go in. But there's a couple of callers left, and if we could keep it brief, we might no just doubt. get you know another one no in doubt. or two. All right, yo, peace and love. Thanks for all your support, man. We appreciate that. For real. All right, one. Indeed. All right, Mm -hmm. with that being said, call a nine, oh, pardon me, 972-839. You're live on the air. You with us, fam? Call a 972-839. All right, not too much time. Not too much time to waste on no response. Call it 267-584. You're live on the air. Are you with us? Islam, Islam, Islam. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, fam. Yeah, King Bayer Jamal Smith Hill speaking here out of Philadelphia territory. Um, I don't have too much to share. I've been listening the whole time. But there's just, I'll be brief, hopefully, with... uh, under three minutes. Um, yeah. I just want to put out this Act 3 from the Morris Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. Uh, mm-hmm. Act 3, love, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Morris Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because a Allah is law. Now, mm-hmm. that being said, in May, mm-hmm. right, I, mm-hmm. in May, which is about five months ago, 
I uh, right. I come into this information on this level. So a month later, I went to the more the nearest more science temple of America, and I declared and proclaimed there. And that being said, I already had a business and had some idea of who I uh, was and am. Hence the name of my business, More Genius Transportation. Right now, in this time period, my whole business has been stolen from me from these corporations and I'm very unwilling to just allow the corporations to walk away with my business at this moment. I just want to, you know, but at the same time, when I'm coming into this information, I study nonstop pretty much 14 hours a day since I actually don't have my business at the moment. So I study 14 hours a day at the least. So like, and, and so I'm coming in now and I'm seeing um, more Disagreeing with Morris, and it's, it's understandable. I, I I have an understanding that these things existed. I really don't want them to be, but for me being uh in a sense brand new and, and at depth just coming in, it is kind of crazy, man, out here witnessing this because at the same time I'm seeking freedom for myself, and I'm I'm be. Everybody, in a sense, uh, as far as, you know, brothers and sisters going at each other when we should, you know, uh, follow Act 3 regardless because it's the unity that is most important. We're, we're, we're at war and in captivity. And, uh, you know, we have a whole nation to think about. And so, I mean, it's just a little crazy, man. I'm going to continue with my with, – with, what I have to do for myself and do my best to, uh, you know, stand on love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and get these monkeys off my back right now so that I can continue to do what I do. But ultimately, I just wanted to share that Act 3, and I appreciate I'm, I'm studying it from everywhere. If whatever good, valuable information I'm able to get, that's where I get it, you know. And, again, I'm only about five months in yeah, Some indeed, my brother. Me, hey, I want to say, being a slave. Some saying, "Hey, yeah. don't be a slave." <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I'm gonna follow my heart in a sense. Real talk, but listen, Please, we got it. like two minutes left. Um, MHHS sister standing on law this Sunday at one o'clock p.m. Uh, we know we won't be able to take the next caller. I just want to say for the record, one more time, you know. Those those dudes have been called out. You can check the record. It's on that page. The message is left there under Mantis Views 29 and um, Kane Land Moors, et cetera. So, you know, with that being said, they did not call in. They did not show up. And we was ready to go right back at this today <laughs> since it came up today. Cool, Joe. I'm going to yield the floor to you to close this out, man. Islam. Well, peace and love to all the Moors. Again, the theme of the night, thank you for your support and thank you for taking your nationality and birthright serious. Honors to everybody that called in. Honors to everybody that's listening, especially the family out in Portugal and the family out in Afghanistan, Germany, UK, Switzerland, everywhere that there's a more honors to you. Keep studying. Peace and love to all mores. Indeed. And of more course, peace, peace and love, love. To, to, to the sons of Allah. Islam to Brother Miz for doing all Indeed. this monumentous work with me. Peace and love to you, more. Indeed. Islam, noble peace and love to you as well. Um, my mother said she just sent the message. I don't know if I'll be able to get this all off, but she was saying that... Um, I can't even get to it without discarding a certain other message that I can't. But she was saying that she's grateful. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can seem intense. Like breakup R&B intense. I thought you said you love the sweater that I got you. If you didn't, you could have told me. Geico makes it easy. Just go to Geico.com anytime to update or check your policy without all the extra drama. 